we started the stream yet? Here we go. So anyway, that's why my dog got a hysterectomy. <laughs> I thought you had cats. No, I didn't. No. Your didn't your you have cats? No, I no longer have cats. Well, that's an upgrade. Kinda, yeah. Oh, I think we're live. Yeah, so so we more. should stop talking about pets. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe I mean I don't know. Maybe maybe people tuned in to want and they want to know about your pet life. Wow, well we've got intermissions for that. We are here for the Big Ten championship game between Minnesota and Michigan in hockey. Uh, BTN will be your uh, destination of choice for this one. I suppose we will talk about basketball during the intermissions. I, I wasn't even going to bring that up. People people demand it from us. There's, there was Don't we already have to talk about it tomorrow? <laughs> I know, but like we got to get our takes in. What more else can we do during uh, the intermission? Just like stare know. at each other? Talk I, about Merrimack and BU. I already talk I'm to sorry, talk. Merrimack and Monitor. Can you tell me about that battle in history? Yes. Really? I well, don't even know that much about Civil it. Civil War Ironclads, the first uh, steamship battle of all time. Yeah. Also a pretty good Slater Kinney song, uh, which was released approximately when Alex was born. In like 2007? Well, he was probably six or seven. <clears throat> so they're starting, what, a few minutes late tonight? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, With, it's uh, five after. Yeah. They're showing highlights of... Well, they they showed highlights of both semifinals, and they were like we, the we worst got to possible see, highlights. Yeah, there it was, was the like, empty net goal for Michigan, and the goofy like, and the like deflection high off the board that shot goes off, off the back the, of Saint Cyr goal. Yeah, <laughs> when there were other like good goals that they could have highlighted from both teams, and th they were just like, no, we're just, gonna we're gonna go with this because we're lazy. We're asking too much from from these people. We should be grateful that it's on television at all. Hey, that's true because, you know, we've lived through a lot of BTN minus this year. Oh, zinger. Well, we've been doing that for over a year. Oh, have you? You should listen to the hockey cast sometime. I don't listen to podcasts because I don't have a commute. That has always been your take. Yeah, it's just like, what am I not going to listen do you not, to podcasts? But do you ever listen to music? Not really. Really? You seem like a guy who listens to music. Well, I I mean, yeah, I guess sometimes, but not like a lot. So like when you do housework, you don't put music on? I probably should. I mean, that's a good point. <laughs> You're like, oh, I've been doing this in silence for all these years. and that's a good idea. <laughs> I've come up with something. Sometimes I think to myself, oh, I would like some music, and then I put on some music. Okay. Usually when I'm cooking. that's that's Well, that's, how, that's technically housework, whatever, sure. Is it? Well, I mean, you're doing domestic chores in some one form or fashion. You oh. have to feed yourself. feels like cooking isn't housework. It feels like cleaning up after cooking is housework, which is why there are all those articles about how, like, when men were doing more housework around the house, people were like, it's not fair because they're doing the cool stuff, like cooking, instead of cleaning up, which is gross. There were articles on this? Oh, yeah. Right. And, and you read them? Man, I read all kinds of stuff. You know, Alex, you have you know. ever read those articles? Uh, not those specifically. Were you aware they existed? Yeah. Would, would you like to know all about the Ukraine war? <laughs> Brian, Brian, I got you covered on yeah. that. Brian and I are much more online than David is. And that's true. Yeah, David's got to like. I, I interact with humans. You got to go around like doing sports. Doing we, sports. I think that's the actual verb. We just that's look what, at sports. Hey, Dave, what are you doing? I'm doing sports. And like Dave like does the sports. Mm, yeah. Although they move me up. In tennis, they're like, hey. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they're like, hey, you shouldn't be. So are you up to the third level yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you acing folks? Well, when I get it in. <laughs> well. Which is. That's how aces work, right? But, yeah. At the current at the current tennis level, if I get a serve in, it's not coming back. <laughs> it's, it's, just, not coming. it's just not coming back. <laughs> and so the teacher was like, we, we, we could put you in a class with some dudes. Would you like to be in a class with dudes? Because everybody in this class, ha except me, happens to be a woman. Um, and they were like, they'll really test you. And I'm like, I heard that as like, they're going to kick your ass. Because <laughs> I, have, I have moments, but I'm very inconsistent. So we should probably talk a little bit of hockey prep. Sure, they, yeah. <laughs> they, they posted the lines, and they are exactly what you would think. That's basically what Michigan's been running out the last few games. Still no Truscott. No Truscott. Uh, Fantilli... Uh, Luca Fantilli as the the seventh 
defenseman, which he I don't believe he's really been iced. He took a he served a penalty uh, in one of the last he, couple yes. games. Yeah, he has not been playing. Um, and then there was I think they dressed Lapointe and Luca for warm ups, but um, one of those guys obviously will not play. Okay, so the puck is dropped. So we're at nineteen fifty eight, fifty seven, fifty six, fifty five. We will try to do more of time checks. Um, and if you want time checks, post them in the comments so that it reminds us. Oh. All right. So this is, of course, at not Mariucci, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mariucci. Um, they changed oh, it. Oh, boy. Good, oh, good save. Big save, Portel. That's a bad turnover. Who was in the corner there? Was All that? All right. I think that was Luke Hughes. Was yeah, it? I think so. Well, it's so. Uh, it's a tradition. No, it's Pearson. It's Pearson. No, he mm. gets knocked off the puck. Yeah. So it is. It was. Yeah, he gets. But knocked it's Pearson off the that should. That yeah, it's Pearson. I mean, that's definitely a board battle that he should not allow to get kicked right out in the slot. But it's a tradition for Michigan to give up a hideous DZTO <laughs> right first way. minute on the first Minnesota. shift. Yeah. <laughs> Particularly in this building. You gotta get. Gotta get. Gotta get that out of the way. So, of course, this is an Olympic sheet, which always plays into Minnesota's hands. Yeah. So, apparently, this is going to be... The, oh, here we go. Oh, Duke had jump, puck jumped off his stick. Um, apparently, they're going to change Mariucci back. Oh, that's oh, a tripping that, call. Uh, Come on. Uh, I don't know. I think... You got you got to be kidding me. Like, uh, the guys... We don't need a penalty fest. I mean, I just, you know... I want a power play, sure. The um, guy's at full reach, his sticks out, and the guy falls over because it's in his feet. It feels like a trip to me. But we might get playoff hockey officiating. So I mean, that's better than having 13 power plays, right? It's probably for the best, especially given Michigan's... Uh, well, <laughs> Minnesota's power plays. Why is this going to be Michigan's season-long trying to be taking all the penalties all the time? And their PK has been um, suspect as of late. Well. Uh-oh. Good win, Pearson. Oh. oh. Quick like a cat. Uh, so what I was saying is that they're changing Mariucci from Olympic ice to, I guess, NHL. Is that what it's called, Alex? NHL yeah. ice, whatever. Really? Non-Olympic ice after the season. That's stupid. Um. Sure. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. Like, do you feel it's like a detriment to you when you go like elsewhere? I feel like, do you think they I mean, play just fine on the road? Like, it's not like it's that much different. I just feel like all hockey should be on Olympic ice. It's much more free flowing. Right. I, I I wouldn't disagree, but there are probably detractors to that. So not really a whole lot of action aside no. from that one DZ to TO. For and each team. For yeah. yeah, and then Michigan had a big hit in the offensive zone that led to a good chance. And then there was a sort of a fluky hop that resulted in a shot from the slot. Yeah, I mean, that's just, I mean, I know Brindley's 5'7", oh, oh. but like they need a little bit better uh, ability to hold on to the puck when they get pressure right now. They got that one out. <laughs> Just kind of. <laughs> they got it out, and that, that was it. Chaos, nothing really. Whoa. Oh, he hit the ref with that yeah. chip. He did. Have a go. I think that didn't get through. Yeah, see, Duke like did better there, he, but he was I mean, one on three. This is never. This ice is never going to be favorable to him, right? Like. In, in a game like this, that's just, you know, it doesn't mean that he can't make a play, but, um, you know, he's a guy who's going to be in front. And when, when this you, is Jackson Hallam time. Yeah. I mean, that's right. I mean, yeah, the guys yeah. that are going to be like the Nazar and Hallam line you like, and that's actually something that 
Alex brought up in, in the preview was you were saying that you kind of like Michigan's depth a little more than Minnesota's. Well, Minnesota's very top-heavy. I mean, they showed in the pregame that their top line accounts for 35% of their scoring. So, you know. Is Michigan's number that different? Well, it depends Mackie if you have Samuskevich on a different line, and yeah. then you have Nazar, who obviously hasn't been as productive, but talent-wise is very, very talented on a third line, then you do have a little more depth. Also, I mean, does Michigan get more scoring out of their defensemen? I mean, probably I guess, close. I guess Lacombe, Jackson Lacombe has had a great scored, season. Yeah. Mike Kester's had a really good season. If that question was anybody except Minnesota, the answer would be yes. Well, sure. But, I mean, that's a lot of Minnesota's thing, too, is they just returned all of their really good defensemen. Oh, I didn't see. I guess that was a shot. I think it was, was a, an it attempted was. pass that went at the goalie. Yeah. It was a Schross. So 15 <laughs> like 14. Shot cross? Yeah. Okay. Uh, remaining. <clears throat> We're Man, waiting for Bob, the face Bob off. Bob Motzko looks like that guy for Arkansas who looks like an albino despite not being an albino. He's completely bald. That guy for Arkansas. Yeah, and he's the he's yeah. yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. The the he looks basketball like, player. It's, uh, it's, he's got the Charlie Villanueva the Charlie thing. Villanueva <laughs> where he has just no hair. Yeah. Uh, well, he kind of looks like a super villain. It's it's like cool. Well, I thought I thought he had they, like. I mean, there were signs when Minnesota came to Yost that he looked like, like Mr. Egghead, right? Well, he does. Oh, I meant I meant the the Arkansas guy. Bob oh. Motzko just looks like a, I don't know, a truck repairman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like a truck repairman on a date with like a girl outside of his league. It's just like because he's wearing a suit. Yeah, because oh, okay. he's like oh, <laughs> I was <laughs> like where I don't know where we're going with this one. <laughs> I went. I went to the store to get this suit because I need to impress this lady. Anyway, we could talk about the hockey. Game I mean, now. we could, well, but it's kind of hard. Here Here's Fantilli, Fantilli, but a good poke check away. There's really not a whole lot of traffic in front of that. No, Michigan. both teams have been since that first like 30, 40 seconds been pretty defensively sound. You're not not giving a whole lot of chances from good spots. Oh, they downinged it. No, it was Steve Holtz. <laughs> For those who do not have a, uh, oh boy, that just went wide. I think yeah, it's on it's the net. Over top. We didn't see it. For people who don't remember uh, Michael Downing, he had a bad habit of smashing shots into the first defender, the first defender oh. at the point, and giving up odd man rushes the other way. Yeah, we used to call that literally a Downing. Yeah, we still do. Well, sure. <laughs> we started with that as yeah. I guess it's still. That's a nice save from Portillo right there, and. Rush chance down the wing. It still feels like a feeling out period right now. Yeah, no, yeah. One, no one wants to make a mistake. Oh man, I thought that was a cross check, and then I was like, a Minnesota oh, guy hitting oh. a teammate. Shoot it! Oh, ah, Downing, and now you've got person's got to go get back. Good pass. Yeah. yeah. Well, you just can't let that pass across. No, but I mean that was always going to happen when you shot into those two guys. Because if you get the right deflection, it kicks out, and then you're asking Keaton Pearson to win a race with. It's not about winning the race. It's about just stopping the, the pass across. Well, that was a pretty nice sauce. Yeah. I mean, that, that all starts with a really bad decision to take this shot. Yeah, because there's just nowhere to go. Right there. And then you take yourself out of the play. Person actually does a pretty decent job of getting back. But That's terrible. Yeah, he needs to go down there. He, yeah, he, he tries for the poke check across. and I mean, that's just that's not your job, bro. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's a senior too. Like, yeah, that's where you're like, if that was Jay. Well, you have, you have Cooley on the on the puck. You know he's passing all the way. Well, it's just, I mean, this is basic stuff, right? The guy comes in on the two on one, and you, the goalie has the guy with the puck, and you got the other guy. So who uh, scored that? Cooley to Lamb, Brody Lamb, Brody Lamb. Yeah, I mean, also the other thing there is Portillo comes across really bent over, as opposed to I mean, in, a, in a standard butterfly. He's he's just trying to get his pad to the other post because if you get it up there, it's always going to be real tough. I think that 
that's I don't know, I just get frustrated with seniors making real basic mistakes. Yep. No argument there. I was just about to say it's been a very defensive oriented period for these two teams. Well, I mean, it still has. It was just yeah. one poor decision from Luke and then some poor play on a two on one by by Pearson. And the wild thing is that I think Keaton Pearson was the first person Mel ever recruited. Really? Yeah, like he was a tech commit. So he brought him from tech? Yeah, and, and then they he, they put him off a year. I was like, man, you must really like Mel Pierce. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, you, you maybe you want to play at Michigan more than tech. Yeah, that. but that was not bad. Nice little play from Moyle there. That could have gone anywhere. But, yeah, so he makes me feel like Britton Covey. Who was in college last year and also oh. like ruined oh, Michigan in the first Harbaugh game. Right. And then he like got injured, went on a mission, had a COVID year. Like turned thirty. Yeah. And then entered the draft. Something like that. And he was playing in an NFL game and I was like, Man, I <laughs> playing he, in the Super Bowl. Thought he was oh, too yeah. old to be in the NFL players. <laughs> <laughs> Getting AARP. Well, they're about to do the face off. Eleven oh one. Eleven remaining. Yep. Fifty nine. Fifty eight. Fifty seven. Fifty six. Yeah, this is a much different game than the previous two at Mariucci, which were very wide open. Well, it was probably a point of emphasis for both coaches coming in. I mean, Michigan was pretty good defensively last week. And, I mean, Minnesota, I think, was too. Now, obviously, they were playing Michigan State, which doesn't have who, as much to offer offensively. But, yeah, I got. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Jeez. Fantilli making something out of literally nothing. Oh, no, that's, <laughs> that's not great from Hallam. I mean, he's just flipping it into the zone. You don't really expect. Well, you you he needs to miss a guy, especially when it's yeah. Snuggerud, because that means their top line's out, and you can't turn it over there. I think I came back and broke yeah. up the next play, though. Yeah, I just feel like they're just losing most of the board battles, and that's been a problem. This period's like half over. Yeah, it's it's like this is just flying. Oh, there's by. been very few whistles. Oh, there you go. There's been very what little of anything. Is that? What is Mackey? That's not a hook. <sighs> See, it's just as soon as it goes in. Yeah. Well, that's, Minis that's partially Minnesota. I mean, that's what they do well, and they have big, experienced yeah. defensemen. I mean, these teams are nominally all very young, but there's a big difference when Michigan's top line is all freshmen and Minnesota has Matthew Nyes on their top line. It's just... Yeah, well, I mean, but like, their other two guys are freshmen. Yeah, I know, but that's still a and big difference to have like a... Ni yeah, like Nyes a versus like a... Super, like, Hobie finalist on your sure. top line. Like if there was a Ken Palm, like Ken Palm has like an... A, like an adjusted height that <laughs> where it's like so if you have a seven foot four guy but he plays two minutes a game he doesn't count right oh uh, yeah yeah and it's just like basically and i feel like 
Michigan's adjusted youth in that department is is larger than well. They also Minnesota's. had two guys who aren't even drafted yet, right? Or draft eligible, I should say. And pretty much their steadiest guy has been out for two months. Defensively, yeah. Defensively, yeah. Probably steadiest period, like in terms of not taking penalties, being where he's supposed to be. Oh. Like, I don't think any of the forwards. Yeah, I didn't think that his first half was uh, awesome. It was it was fine. Um, but I think he definitely started to get better um, in those first few series. And then that's why his injury was um, unfortunate. Because, like, I thought, you know, the same thing with Hughes, right? Is Hughes really got better in the second half for the most part. And then his momentum got blunted. Yeah. I mean, you remember, like, during that stretch where he's playing like, over 30 minutes? In a couple yeah. Games, you're just like, jeez. Come on, guys. There's, I mean, there's just like, but that, no, was, that was here's weird. another two on one. No, but the pass just got through. <coughs> I mean, that's what you know. A lot of times, turnovers in the neutral zone will do that. Now, in in ice like this, you know, turnovers at the blue line can even turn into that pretty easily. Oh. Good defensive coverage there from Fantilli and Brindley. And that takes us to the commercial break, 638. Wow. I have, like, no notes. One of them is what the shots were halfway through the period. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this, this period has been like a blank gray space of hockey. Not a whole lot going on. Nope. One mistake from Michigan, basically, and Minnesota cashed it. And so... This is Will Arnett on the commercial, but he's doing his BoJack Horseman voice, and it really bothers me that BoJack Horseman wants you to buy Reese's peanut butter cups. So this is going to surprise you, but I don't, you know, don't know who, who BoJack either of those things are. Will Arnett uh, is an actor guy. I mean, I've heard the name, yeah. but if you're like, pick him in a lineup, I might pick right. you. Yeah, and then BoJack Horseman is a horseman named oh. BoJack. Okay. Who's the it, you would hate the show. I, I you, don't you, doubt that. I you would. That's probably why I've avoided I it. I can think of no one I know who would <laughs> like BoJack Horseman less than you. Is there anyone you know that is in the same category of person that I am? Yeah. Okay. Like, I would say that I don't. My generally. mom. <laughs> See exactly. There you go. That uh, uh, makes sense to me. <laughs> oh yeah. Dave he hangs out with everyone's mom. That's, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're. Uh, you guys are both into uh, religion and the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> it's been a few years since I've I've continuously watched the Hallmark Channel, but okay. I have in the past. Okay, it's Ser nicer on Christmas. Really? Are you serious? I used to watch it. Oh my god! Like the Christmas movies? Yeah, they're wow. really nice. Yeah, I go home for Christmas and it's just like, yep, Hallmark movie. Well, sometimes I come in and, and this year the implausibly like attractive small town whoever was Lindsay Lohan. I was like, what the uh, that's oh, we're back. Say. We're back to the hockey. Yeah, we'll get back to Lindsay Lohan in a bit. Or, or we could pick another failed pop star. No, but she was on the Lifetime movie. Well, see, Lifetime is very different. Anyway, there's six fifty-five left. Yeah, we we should another defensive zone face-off from Michigan, trailing Minnesota one to nothing with six fifty-five in the period. Now six fifty-three, two one, etc. Yeah. All right, let's have some events. <laughs> <laughs> let's have any like, anything interesting happen. I will start talking about Lindsay Lohan, so help me God. Well, there's it. Oh, uh, like they almost intercepted that one, but. <laughs> <laughs> We're just really hoping for something here. Got some Big Ten minus camera work. Yeah. The puck's nowhere near the screen. Like the early. Whoa. Uh, what? Uh, I don't know. Like the early days of uh, zone read stuff where the camera would just be yeah. completely, completely on the wrong player. Never had any idea that he kept it or gave it. Yeah. yeah another board battle lost. Good poke check by Edwards. That elbow was a little high from, from the Minnesota player. I don't know who exactly. 
Well, I think we've seen so far there have been three or four could have been calls, and none of them have been. So we're definitely getting some playoff hockey whistles, at least so far. I would somewhat expect that to change in the second period is uh, it, it tends to where if you don't call penalties, then all of a sudden the referees realize, oh, you know, we can start calling penalties. Yeah, they got to make it. Oh, we gotta. Someone's got to have a scoring chance because yeah. I'm falling asleep just <laughs> refereeing this. Oh my god! How is it? This is the most boring oh. Michigan Minnesota game I've ever seen. <laughs> like I look forward to these games all year because I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And now it's like, oh, it's like watching Cornell play Colgate. Well, Colgate's playing tonight against against Harvard. Harvard. Oh, thanks for the clear there, Minnesota. <laughs> Oh man! Well, there you go. Hey, there that's, we go. That's uh, that's Nader. That's uh, oh, holding why the stick. Why couldn't he get his stick out? Uh, he wasn't really holding the stick. He was lying on well, it. Well, lying on the stick. I don't think that's a penalty. Well, pass it. Oh, was that hit? Uh, it almost gone wide. I think that was wide. Yeah, that was another downing threaten. I know. And he got a Moyle. pick. He got oh. a pick there. Yeah. I think. Did they get it? They got something. They couldn't have because they would have they would have blown the whistle before the shot then. Yeah. No, they no, got they it. Did. They got it. Well, uh, well, this is all of a sudden a very big moment. Narado just said yeah, he's fucking yeah. diving. He was a dive. That was. But it was also that's all interference. It was also a pick. Yeah. I mean, Hallam comes up. He slows down. He braces for impact. Well, this is a big kill for Michigan. You don't want to go into that intermission down 2 nothing against this team, especially. Nope. Drop the puck. And they only killed one of three last week against Ohio State. Yeah. And one of them, they looked particularly inept. Whoa. Wow. Oh, turnover. Here's a chance. Stop him. Pretty easy save. Yeah, stop him just occasionally seems like he's a good hockey player. Like Well, I think he serves a purpose. Um, no, I don't I don't I'm not like it just it it's it's strange. Like you just think he's like a big Coke machine kind of guy and then occasionally it's like, Oh, that's interesting and then it doesn't it like goes away for a week or something. He's kinda like DJ Wilson. <laughs> More like for three minutes a game, DJ Wilson was the. That has got to be a hold. That's that's on a kill. Oh, good save. Yep. Boo! What are we booing? Oh, because the net came off. It happens all the time. They're they're upset that the net came off when Michigan was about to clear and they get an offensive zone face off. Like, what are they booing about? <laughs> like, that's yeah, a break well, for also, them. Yeah, also in theory they've watched their team play and notice how at this rink at that end of the ice the net comes off ten it, times per game. It really does. I mean, this goes back even to last year. Oh yeah, it, it's been a thing. Like, this should have been a clear for Michigan, and it happens at every game. That's some this. like assembly hall level dumb booing. It's like we're. <laughs> When when you broke down which Big Ten basketball arenas have the worst awareness booing? Oh, it's definitely either Illinois or Indiana, but my, I can't figure out which one. It's really because whenever you watch a game at either place, you're like, oh my god, <laughs> these people have never watched anything before. Well, Merrimack, Merrimack just took a two-one lead over Boston U. We we that is what we we will talk about in the intermission is who else we're rooting for because um, we may not even know. Uh oh. That's a good look. A good good pass, save. Good save. That didn't get on because I think Infantili got his stick on it. They need one more clear. 
Yeah, they're tired. Oh, kicked off the kick. Get out. They got it. There it is. Yeah, Fantilli's. They didn't get everybody uh, off. One guy got off, but the guy who and the bad got the change. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, they survive. One shot on goal, I think. Uh, is that right? One, yeah. But, I mean, they had uh, – I thought Portillo had at least two saves, but maybe not. Maybe they'll add one. Two. But you're playing a really good team. Yeah. With a good power play. You're always going to have to make saves to beat this team. Oh, that was uh, – <laughs> He yeah. really is just That's the worst goalie I can remember with the puck. Portillo? Yeah. No. Active detriment. Uh, I disagree. Who? Okay, give me give me the person who was worse. Well, nobody else really came out and played the puck that the way that he does. What? No. Like that, with the frequency. No, that's crazy. Uh, who? What do you mean? Who? Who used to play the puck? The Marty Turk. Mar- I mean, Marty Turk. Yeah. The other answer. It. Okay. Like, so before I was like watching Michigan hockey and before Alex was born. No, but, like, <laughs> these are not good reference points. Like, most guys have just been just guys at this, but Portillo has been. Uh, but Portillo does it so much more that yeah, it, but the more you do makes, it, the more chances you can right. have to look like it. And, and, right? he do, and he does other things that we don't always give him credit for. There's a turnover. <sighs> just rip just it. Just ran into somebody. He didn't really have room. Nobody had room. Uh, this is a three-on-two. No, nah, it's not three-on-two. Good play there from somebody who got – Throwing down. Is that Edwards? I think it's Edwards. They're also not winning many loose, getting to loose pucks. No. They, well, look, they look a little slow and disjointed. Michigan is either really diving in this period or there's a lot that's being let go. Well, I thought that most recent one was not uh, a penalty, even though he went down. <laughs> but there have been a couple instances. Minnesota's also given some chances. Here we go. Person, Pearson, never gonna get it. If he wanted to be called Pearson, he needed to change the spelling of his name. Like, make an effort, bro. <laughs> Can't just tell me that your name is spelled Pearson. It it's would be like if you when you spell it Person. If you were like Kook, right? Like I'd have to. I like I, if I don't change that to K, then I, it's not. That's on me. That's not on you. That's on me. Gotta make an effort. Yeah. Just having trouble getting guys in front of the net when they actually do have a chance. It's very fast and very uninteresting. Oh, Jesus. That's not a penalty. Don't see an arm in the air. Looked like it could have been. Uh, Brian Mack is suggesting we do a Hallmark Channel watch along, and um, another commenter is saying that they would yeah, that's pay. That's not a penalty. What is he complaining about? No. Well, I'm I mean, part of it, what you do is. Yeah, but you like, complain, right? Okay. You kind of. Di- well, no, no. Look at Granowitz. He, stick there. He's diving for the for the pass. Like that's not a penalty. No, it's not a penalty. No. Goalie interference. Was that Grant? Was that a good play? Oh, <laughs> almost missed the pass there. All right. Uh, well, that does it. Yeah, I just this this team just doesn't seem to like look like the same team from game to game. No, they, they are a little slower tonight. It's, it's, a, it's been a season-long issue where they just come out one game and they look amazing, and then the next game it's just like, oh. Well, I think that that period, let's say the you know the, the Minnesota goal you know doesn't happen at five-on-five, five, everything else has been fine. Like you have one mistake, and otherwise yeah. you got two teams that are mostly just locking horns and not a whole lot is happening. Minnesota gets a couple looks on the power play. Michigan hasn't had a power play chance, so can't really assess that. And otherwise, it, not much has happened. Both both teams have been pushing play to the edges, and I 
I thought I thought Porto looked uh, fine in that period. No, he was great. I mean, he had probably he had, the, he had the big save on the power play, three or yeah, four. He made a couple nice saves, I and mean, I don't think anything else was really a great A, except the goal, obviously. But he couldn't really do much about that. Uh. It's a quick period. Yeah. Um, all right, so Brian Mack is asking for a Hallmark Channel watch-along, and then somebody else comments and says, I would pay good money to hear Brian use analytics to try to make sense of off-brand Cameron Diaz's decisions. <laughs> you want me to use analytics to discuss what Lindsay Lohan, how she's living her life? Like, is there anything less <laughs> allowed, less prone to analysis by analytics? I kind of feel like the answer would be no. Uh... Yeah. Uh, Alex, do we have uh, I'll pull up the comments anything in going on in the chat? Because we're about to have to talk about basketball. No, no, no. We're, no, we're, we're going to talk about NCAA tur um, uh, hockey tournament. Okay. What? Alopecia. Thank you. The, the Charlie Villanueva disease. That would be good if it, he would be like the Lou Gehrig of alopecia. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Does anyone else remember Lou Gehrig for something? Uh, he was well, right, he but was that's like a very different caliber One of the of best disease. baseball players of all time. <laughs> oh, well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, also... Brian's never watched baseball. Well, also, so. it's it's a different kind of level of, of disease we're talking about here. Yeah, I mean, if you're the, fa <laughs> if you're the face of alopecia, that's not quite as bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, what you got, Alex? Not many, Save us. not many questions. Um, comments? Comments? Just stuff like Bob Motzko and Humpty Dumpty have never been seen in the same room. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah, uh, fairly accurate. Mike Downing was way underrated. You guys were never impartial covering him. I just really hated that one thing he always did. Oh, I, I wonder, what, does he say why he was underrated? No. All right. Bojack is great if you like depression humor. That's probably why I don't yeah. watch it. Yeah. I mean, it's a great show. If you like depression humor, according to... Well, it's not all depression humor. Sometimes there are jokes about otters. Uh, another person says, Michigan lost to Vanderbilt in the NIT round two in basketball. Are they just like <laughs> trying to get That's all the comment is. <laughs> just trying to get it going. <laughs> <laughs> talk about this, guys. Uh, Seth says, please save any and all basketball talk for tomorrow morning. Wait. We have four segments to fill, and I'm not talking about Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> is he... What what were we almost going to talk about last week, what? but we had to cut? Oh, we were going to do some. We were going to talk about Tom Bombadil. Oh yeah, Alex, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> do you have Tom Bombadil slash Lord of the Rings takes? No, no you don't. We no, I don't. About I this. don't have Lord of the Rings takes. Um, you probably have more than I do. Why are they even Kevin Warren? Kevin Warren's like, I'm out of oh, here. Oh no, and he's uh, like, let GTFO. me tell you about the Bears. The Bears. Happy Gilmore watch along. <laughs> Well, we we'd need Ace for that, and no, <laughs> I mean that was that was his. You you and him would go back and forth about well, that. Well, I just time. feel like I, just, I watched this movie and I was like, man, there's no jokes in this. You, movie. But you say that comment every time. You have to have new material. I don't apparently. Okay. Adam Sandler leads the way, not having <laughs> new material. Uh, is Bacon right? And we're really going to move on from Narado? I don't know. I it, it's not clear to me, having listened to the roundtable, that Sam meant that that. Bacon thought that versus what, like it wasn't clear to me if that was Bacon's take personally that he wasn't sold, or that Ward's take is that he's not sold. I mean, I think what my assumption for the way this all goes down is the guy who literally wrote the book on Michigan hockey knows Red yeah. very well, yep. knows Mel very well, yep. knows all of those old guys really well. And he's prob they're probably like, ah, I don't know about this. Guy has an analytics director. Like, <laughs> he's, we can't do that. <laughs> he doesn't appear to be abusing anybody. I, we can't. He we just eat, can't get behind this. He it's doesn't not, eat enough popcorn. And uh, well, well, does, remember, that's does, Red's thing. He, well, he's oh, always eating popcorn. Oh, he always is. Yeah. Popped maize, first of all. Oh. Uh, <laughs> is... Well, I mean, that's what the boxes say. Like, what well, you should like. Did, it, did it, Melly pop? Could you could you bring this energy to the next time you bring up underground printing? <laughs> <laughs> um. Someone says that that was Bacon's take. He 
He talked about it for 30 minutes on Friday. Oh, okay. Yeah, but with Bacon, like, you always kind of assume that his take is informed by his conversations with other people who yep. know a lot about hockey. Um, <clears throat> so I, I do think that there is probably some resistance um, because the way that Mel went out was sort of a condemnation of the way the program was being run because that Bancroft guy was around for it. Yeah, yeah and, and he, he quote-unquote, retired first, right? Right. So, you know, it's not – People feel implicated, and I think that's our, our main reason that the the shit show that was the way that the response to the report went down went is because you know Ward doesn't want to make a decision, and all the like hockey people he knows are like, nah, this is nothing. Oh, uh, because just the way this is the culture of hockey. This and, is how this goes. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, I think that's incorrect. I think that there's no reason to treat people negatively. Oh, boy. We got some score checks. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, first of all, big round of applause. Canisius. Has Are they booked, in the tournament? They booked their ticket. All right. When was the last time they were in the tournament? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to look that I up. I don't know if that's ever happened that I can But remember. now here's the, the zesty ones. Okay. Okay, ready? Northern Michigan 1, Minnesota State 0 at the end of the second period. That's a bid stealer. That would be a bid thief. And it would knock Minnesota State out. It would steal their bit. Which, in that really? sense, yeah. is okay. That's cause... the one that doesn't affect Alaska, so we're okay with it. <laughs> uh, the one that does affect Alaska, middle of the second period, Colgate 3, Harvard 1. And Colgate would be a bid thief as they well. They would yes. be a bid thief. Wow. Well, I mean, is Colgate better or worse than Alaska? I mean, I know we like the Alaska Bear and the, the whole thing and them making the tournament. We, I get that. We clearly want Alaska to make the tournament, not for reasons that are, like, Michigan-related. Michigan yeah, it's just, it would be really cool. Because if we somehow drew game. Colgate, you'd be like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? right? Um, Toothpaste jokes for a week. And then, as we noted, Merrimack 2-1 to one at the end of two, and Colorado College and St. Cloud are just underway. Okay. That one doesn't really matter to us, right? Well, CC's well a bit so stealing. in theory, if Michigan is oh. the number four seed and you have a cascade of number four, you know, the fourth one seed, and you have a cascade of bid thieves, then that helps. Then you get a bid thief in yep. the game one, yeah. But that takes, like, maximum chaos. Well, we're halfway. It looks like, well, we're, we're a third we're, of the We're way watching of, it. Yeah. Maximum chaos is, they're in the rearview mirror creeping up on Speaking us. Speaking of maximum chaos, we have a third one seed in trouble. Uh Auburn and Houston are tied at 46. Yeah, we are um, limited on televisions because we are streaming this. Yep. So <laughs> we, uh, have and we've had good internet so far for the most part, thankfully. But yeah, if bad internet pops up, then we remove a TV. So we're, we're monitoring Merrimack and we BU. cut off one limb for your... Each time the like in bad. Uh, yeah. Monty Python. <laughs> no, it's like when uh, my, it's a my di it's a coaching digit. Yeah, the timeout. <laughs> Or to call timeout in basketball, you got to cut off a finger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what about in hockey? Do you have to like cut off an appendage? No. Okay. I guess you, like I'll 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 amend it. You can take one timeout in basketball without having to remit, remove. So a like finger. hockey, where you get one timeout. You get one timeout. What if you have to challenge something? No, uh, challenge you got to cut off a finger. Okay. In all sports. So we have that on, and then because there are no the other games of consequence are all being streamed, and we are blind to them. So we have put on what seems to be the most relevant basketball game. Well, we should probably so keep an eye on the hockey well, so okay. that it doesn't start what, before. What time did the... Well, I don't know. All right, it was about seven minutes. We'll go with that. It's only 12 minutes in remission now. Yeah, so... So I, I will just put it back. Yeah. Basketball is too tempting. <laughs> we'll just get caught. We flip away for too long, we get distracted. Five, doing a watch along five minutes into the second period, <laughs> we figure out what's. Well, people wanted to see what it's like when we actually watch games, so uh, now they're getting. Well, the, that's the taste. Uh, yeah, it's usually a lot less chatty. Yeah, we, a lot of it. A lot of time, we're just on the phone, on our phones. Yeah, not like talking to each other. No, but on like, the phones. You know, we're, but we're, like not texting it. in the same room. <laughs> Some but kombucha ad in the next television. That's being sold, so actually it's QuickBooks. Yeah, but they're making kombucha, the, the company, using QuickBooks. I see. Which I feel is unrealistic because nobody makes kombucha. Well, clearly somebody does. No. Okay. Nobody's ever made it. 
okay. and sold it. That you have to like you have just, a like a still in your you backyard. Just produce you, it. And what is it? I have no idea what kombucha is. I know that the lady in Iowa drank it and was like torn about it, but that's all I know about kombucha. Okay. The internet. I mean, I've had lady. it before. Where she's like, ah, man, nah. I don't know. She was that drinking is. kombucha. Yeah, yeah. Do you know who that is? Of course yes. you guys know who that Oh, my is. God. <laughs> I, this is part of your job. <laughs> to be you, on the internet? You gotta if keep you up. want me on the internet more, I need, I, you I, need to give me another I need. Raise. I need you to like read Know Your Meme like yeah, that's probably 30 minutes happening. a day. <laughs> that's why I have Alex. Tell me about the memes. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have a meeting once a week where he goes over all the new ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I have to like identify certain ones. You have flashcards. Yeah, <laughs> so he like holds one up, and I get like four seconds. Oh yeah, and then you're like, oh that's uh, oh that's Spider Man pointing at each other. <laughs> that's yeah. what two people are really the same. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes, one oh, for one. Then, Give me a sticker for that one, Alex. <laughs> this one's a cupcake dog, an oldie but a goodie. That one I don't know. Cupcake dog. It's a dog who's like terrified of cupcakes. Why would you be terrified of a cupcake? I don't know. But he was. Are you terrified of cupcakes? Maybe the dog had been trained not to Maybe eat Maybe it was a chocolate cupcake and he ate one and had a bad experience. Possibly. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> Minnesota is playing Ohio State tomorrow in the Women's Hockey National Championship game. Oh. Didn't Ohio State win it last year? They did, so we're cheering for Minnesota. Uh, that's fine. It's fairly gross that Ohio State has a very good women's hockey program and Michigan has a club team. Well, not ideal. Uh, there are, I've heard that locker rooms are a big part of I that. Mean, Jordan Acker basically posted it on Twitter is that we just don't have the logistical capacity at Yoast. I mean, like they, they don't really have logistical capacity for the visiting team <laughs> at Yoast, well, which probably at some point should be rectified now. We are Here we go. getting not quite starting, but they're lining up. And the puck has dropped, so we are at 1957, 56, 55, 54. All right. The uh, teams have come out in the locker room with a newfound dedication to allowing each other scoring chances. That's my hope. My mom says that she makes kombucha and that it's fermented tea. Ah. You drink a lot of tea. I don't anymore. You gave up tea? Well, yeah. What about the other 25 letters? Oh. That's a good play by, uh, (laughs) I think that was Brindley there. Hughes got caught in the offensive zone, and Brindley cut that pass off. I'm sorry. I'm still just so upset about what Dave just said. (laughs) See, look at this. Look at this right here. Outlet pass. You got the guy going up. Yep. Look and that. he's a he's a forward back on defense. Yeah, well, he's in puck support with Hughes jumping up mm-hmm. and makes the the poke check. Something that is very necessary for Michigan when they're going to push their defensemen up like that. Yeah. So you have to. I mean, that's just very fundamental. You have to have a guy that is that will do that, and and that's a good play from Brindlin, like you said. See right there. There's no clear passes through the neutral zone. They're getting the sticks. Michigan's not hitting tape to tape in this game so far. Well, I mean, we talked about oh, this. There's a turnover. Ooh. Oh, in the ho- on the hockey cast where you were like, you know, Michigan was almost pinpoint perfect on their passes against Ohio State on some of their breakouts. And I said, well, that's kind of when you're aggressive, like Ohio State, like you open yourself up to that happening. Yep. And, you know, Michigan hit those spots. And, like, and, you know, they just haven't been quite as sharp tonight so far. Well, Minnesota has not been forechecking very hard. Like there was that DZTO at the no. very beginning of the game, and now they're just both kinda... of these teams look like they're guarding against each other's speed. And yeah, because I think that they know that that's I, and now Minnesota is probably going to be a little extra careful because they don't. Well, now they have the lead, so right. it's going to be on Michigan to. That's disgusting. This should not be. This should not be like Minis- Michigan State with a one goal lead over oh. Michigan. Nerado just he's writing on his wrote water something bottle. on the top of his water bottle. I don't believe I've ever seen. It. Maybe it's his initials. Like this is my water bottle. Yeah, maybe he doesn't want uh, doesn't want to start germs. drinking it. <laughs> or uh, yeah, oh, see right there. Good stick from uh, was it eighteen for Minnesota? <laughs> but you know, if you're Michigan. You don't need to ramp up your pressure at this point in the game. Oh, my like goodness. You, 
That's a bad bounce, but they got away with it. Just keep playing. See if you can can get something going. Gonna have to win some more board battles yeah. if this yeah. is the way this game is going. If gonna they're going to dump a chase and they can't carry in, yeah. Well, right there, oh. you got a little more puck pressure on the end board. Just didn't have the forechecking support. There's a chance. Oh, just, he just turned it over. That was a bad pass from Hughes. And so now you got, sort of have a two on one. And I don't know no, how that didn't go in. It never got I across. I don't think it got across. Okay. Yeah. No, that's a second uh, pretty big chance allowed by a bad play from Hughes. From Hughes yeah. yeah. Well, he was really sharp last week, but not plugged in right now. Jeez. Well, Minnesota kind of let him off the hook there going for a change. Yeah, which you'll get a little more in the second period because you get the puck deep, and depending on what you have – Teams will take that chance to switch players. Period of the long change. Oh, that's a good oh, look right there. In front. Yes! Is that Rucker on the rebound? Hey. All right, Rucker. All right. Nice play by Brindley to have the speed to not get caught by that defenseman before he could go behind the net. But that was this was exactly. Who took that shot? Uh, I think that was a defenseman coming so, off the bench. So Brindley, yeah, you're no, right. He, he goes around the net. Just beats a guy. Kicks it out to Edwards. Edwards has the initial shot. But that was basically my point, was that, you know, they didn't get to do that through changing their approach. You just keep seeing if you get an opportunity, and then one presents itself, and now you're right back. And you didn't have to, you know, go balls to the wall or, or do anything different. Just no, and at 1-0, you don't yep. really have to. Nope. Two or three, you start having that conversation. Just keep, just keep playing hockey. There you go. Now you may have a chance. At, nope. What? I just dropped wow. that pass. Ooh. Oh, Luke. He's He he, he just he, is not used to being against. Oh, look at go. this. Minnesota. I'll just shoot, shoot the, puck. the puck. There it is. Oh, there it is. Loose it for yeah! Oh, it's Rucker again right on the doors. It feels like a. Like a deja vu is almost the same thing. He's right there. Huh. <laughs> well, that, what, that escalated quickly. Is that a meme? That is a meme. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> You're like the oldest person here by 20 years. Just 20? Man, I've... Just like spiritually, gotten younger. It's just off off the back. That's a nice play. So back. so Fantilli, so it go. Oh, that didn't miss by a ton. Shot from the point it's from. Just puck yeah. yeah. Well, but when you miss by narrow margins like that, you get it off the other side. Who had that shot from the point? Did you see? I think it was Fantilli. Uh, whoa, no. whoa, 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 whoa! Fantilli dropped to someone. Oh, okay. A little puck left behind the net there. Huh. Scrambling a little bit. That's a nice play. And then they Pearson. Yep. Was that offside? Yeah, intentional offside. So Pearson makes up for it there. Face off fifteen forty seven remaining. In the second period, we're waiting for them to do the puck drop, and it's down 46, 45, 44. And 2-1, to one, uh, Michigan over Minnesota. I can't believe we're 25 minutes into a Michigan-Minnesota game, and there have been a total of 17 shots. Playoff hockey, I guess. Teams are buttoned up tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, they just got dunked on twice in a row. Yeah, that was, that'll, I mean. That'll do it. Uh, okay. Ciccolini caught a little uh, bit. Two off four. But. Mm, play Casey Edwards. Casey. Pretty nice. Oof. I was you just know. thinking to myself, Casey really hadn't done a whole lot yet. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, you're okay. Chance. Oh, he dropped it off. They don't really have, yeah, they didn't really have anyone on the other side. So everyone was sort of caught on the near side. Uh, 
All right, there we there go. There you go. That's a stop in front. Oh, 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 oh. That's that's a big save. That was on Moyle, I think. Oh, and that's that's what that's what I'm talking about with a stop. Yep. Just every once just in a while, just won the puck behind the net. It's like, oh, this is a big guy who can move a little bit. Has a little skill. David Rolfs Memorial Senior season coming up. Well, and you see Michigan now is starting to ramp their forecheck up a little bit. You see Granowitz there goes behind the net to flush the puck out. Yeah, Minnesota's a little rattled. Oh, there's, there's a good a shot. look. Oh, a over top. Again, oh, stopper. on the rebound. Fourth line, man. You got a little bit of energy, and right now while you got Minnesota on their heels, this is your chance to land another blow. Oh. Yeah, just keep putting shots well, that's, on that. That's the whole thing. That's in this what situation. they did in – I can't remember which game. I think it was the first game in Minnesota where, you know – Minnesota is mostly controlling the game, and then Michigan near yeah. the end of the second period gets three goals in yeah. like what five yeah. minutes, oh, and that's kind of where is where this? Is this? The Children of game. Yost watch party. Why weren't? Maybe we should have we should have gone live from there. Yeah, <laughs> man. Well, well, did you even the, know that was going all, on? All the students would have been like, "Who are these guys? Who are these guys?" And <laughs> Alex would be like, "I'm," especially I could the one go to the, a house party right now, and they'd be like, "No, you couldn't." Especially the one in the middle, because apparently he's 74. Yeah. Another, another turnover. turnover Finally, it's uh, yeah, off favor and out of play. But, yeah, Michigan right now has is, is got Minnesota kind of in the palm of their hand. You know, their, their breakouts they're just, are not clean right now. Yeah, they're just swarming them in the, the offensive zone. When was the last time the university was aware of a quote-unquote big hockey game that wasn't in the tournament? Well, this, is, this was just like the children of Yost doing it. Right, bit. but, I mean, you have to – get a place for that. They're not all like at some in somebody's there's, apartment. There's a there's a room in the union. That you just you like can, yeah. rent or something? I never did that. Yeah. If you're a student. Is he there? We need uh someone boots on the ground. Somebody's gotta let us know what's going on at this party. <laughs> That's a little creepy. I just want to remember what a party I'm sorry, is like. I'm creepy? <laughs> Have you been in this conversation? <laughs> Oh, jeez, oh. that was uh, an adventurous pass. I might have gone for the shorter one. I thought that McGordy maybe had a better look, but. Well, that's one of those passes Fantilli that's probably not coming off, but if it does, it's a slam dunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 You don't see Fantilli just get dropped like yeah, that. Yeah, this is often. the thing you got to be. And now this is the top line. Oh, that was Cooley, right, that hit him? Good stick. Yep. And that was Luke, I think. But this is the thing you're going to have to be oh, a little careful about. <laughs> I don't know. That was Samo, I think. Yes, it was. Oh, boy. Good pass back. Can he get off? No. Stump around. Uh, go for the Michigan. Ah, <laughs> he had an opportunity. Just rim. Just rim, yeah. Yep. Let it go. Perfect. I think that was wide on purpose. Just uh, avoiding the defense and uh, the hold. It's hard to hold. It's hard to tell. Hey, what? Hey, be <laughs> nice. I. Yeah, they're having a hard time exiting their own zone. Michigan's going for a change, but that's the only reason that they actually got out clean. I just go. Yep. You know, I mean, the thing here is that you're finally holding them in, you're cycling around them. The one thing you have to be a little worried, of, you know, cognizant of is that when you can get cycling like that and all of a sudden your defensemen are rotating down in the zone, you get one bad pass, one yep. bad shot, and all of a sudden you it can go the other way and break rush. away or whatever. And yeah. Now with the lead, you know, you're going to approach that a little differently, ideally. Oh, that's nice bounce from an Azar because he looked oh, off whoa, balance whoa. and got yeah. down the slot. We're at 11.40 now. All right, Cicilline wins a board battle. There we go. Yep. Set it up. Oh, good luck. Oh, oh, man. It's just, it's. Oh, jeez, Ciccolini. That. It's asking for it. Yeah. Feeling their wild oats a little bit. I don't think that's actually the phrase. I think so it's so wild, wild oats. Uh, but they're not doing that. No, no, not at this point <laughs> in the game, I wouldn't think. I would think they would not do that at any point during the game. Well, I, I was. Yeah. Minnesota uh, has one shot in this period. I was just glanced up at that. They're not in double digits yet. Yeah. And we're about 50 seconds from the now we're 50 point. seconds from the halfway point, and shots are 11-8. What a weird hockey team. It is. 
Well, I don't know. I mean, because Minnesota's... Michigan is a weird hockey team. Right, but Minnesota's not dissimilar. And so for both of these teams to be in this game... And well, honestly, like, this isn't a bad thing for Michigan heading into the ago, tournament. they were giving up 50 shots to Wisconsin. Okay. Well, Get up. that was a different kind of game. Because it wasn't a... It wasn't a one off. I would have liked to see Granowitz there on that entry down the wall, pass to the slot, as opposed to holding it himself and shooting from the goal line. Because that's an area here on Olympic ice you're going to have room down the wall. And you can pass behind yourself into the slot and set up a shooter coming downhill. Oh, here you go. Chance to skate now. Oh, like everybody Not left. Great everybody angle. left the dangerous areas. Yeah. They all sort of vacated to the side. But great Brindley's back check from Brindley. Brack, but yeah, back check on a maniac. Well, he's got the speed to do it. Man, it is wild how this period has turned around. Give him help. Give him help. Give him yep, help. Someone's got to have a pass. Yeah, that's pretty good. There you go. There's an outlet. Third guy. Oh, that's a dangerous pass, and that's the reason. So now you got a two on O. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's that's exactly what you're saying, Alex. But what happened there? Doesn't it Partillo have it's to the come long for change. that as soon as it uh, as soon as it comes out? Like if no, because you, you you have very few good options in that situation. So you got Casey walking so down Casey the side. Casey and Edwards are both. Well, the big problem is it was the during long a change. change. It's the long change. Because so Cooley was, yeah. or was it Cooley or was it, it was 81? Snuggerud yeah. was late off the bench. Man, he almost pulled that off too. Like stealing the pass? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Look at this. Oof. Look at that. Jeez, oh, what a save. And they're No, but they're going to call goaltender interference. I think they got a penalty, too. Well, I think they're going to get Michigan, Michigan for a, a penalty, hook but or a takedown. Let's but, so then that would nullify the goal interference, right? Oh, I will wait and see what they're there's calling a lot, here. This is there's a lot in this. And the game has pivoted on a dime once again. No, they were never going to call a penalty shot on this. It's not a breakaway. That's the penalty. Well, no. The, yeah, yeah, that was that's never gonna off be, by. That was never going to be a goal. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Portillo's being plowed Come into. Come on, guys. Well, this is definitely... Definitely an interesting game. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, Alex. Not really what we anticipated, but the second period has certainly <sighs> exploded with action. Well, the only like real chances Minnesota have had has been their two goals, and they've been huge. Yeah, they had one. They had one on the power play. Yeah, uh, they're, but they're only but even five strength. or five. Yeah. yeah, and then they've cashed them both. But you know, it's. All th both of those opportunities have happened it was, with the top line out. Well, and it's also one was a two on one, well, one, one was, was a two, two on one, one where yep. Pearson makes a really bad well, play. To Luke me. and makes the first one. Yeah, but Pearson also like it, like Pearson basically turns a two on one into a two on zero, oh, and uh, two slam dunks for Minnesota. I mean, Luke yeah, just but, Luke just gets. Yeah, that's just you can't run at. I mean, it's like it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like safety play, right? Like you can't run at a guy when he has yeah. the leverage. You have to bet seed ground to some extent to take away some angle. And Luke just 
So here we go. Big kill. Goes all out. <clears throat> They're about to do the face-off coming back from the commercial break. 847 remaining. Score 2-2 two -two Michigan and Minnesota. Luke Hughes, two minutes in the box for a tripping. So what? We are it. That uh, was a big rebound, but eight thirty-seven, thirty-six, yeah. thirty-five. 36, 35, yeah. and a well, clear. Well, if you can kill this off, you're in a tie game, and you'll get the next power play most likely. <laughs> have you watched this why, season? Uh, why do you think that, Alex? I, I'm, the I'm thing about Olympic ice also is it makes zone entries like I'm disappointed to see very Mi easy. Minnesota has adjusted because the they had that five-minute major where they get trying to go up the middle. Yeah, yeah right, yeah. and just poked, checked away, and cleared repeatedly. Yeah, it was like for three straight you know, like, minutes. Hey, so maybe like, we maybe we shouldn't do that anymore, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Pa, something give him a raise. Ooh, that's oh, that's a nice oh, bounce. Oh, go, 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 go. That's it's. Uh, if you can get the chip, who is it? Stoppa, Brindley. Stoppa with Brindley. Oh, oh hit the, the post. Iron. You hit the iron. <sighs> that's okay though. Get those guys off. Get back out there. I mean. I thought Br There's a turnover. I thought Brindley was out there, so I was sure that was Fantilli. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, oh. And then Ostapa. And then Ostapa almost scores. rang the post. Whoa, 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 whoa. He just fell over. Yeah. Here we go. Oh! oh! Are you just looking at that? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Wow. This feels like the Denver game. <sighs> well, the video coaches are definitely looking at that one. Got it set up. 15 seconds. One more clear. Yep, good yep. job, Portillo. And that's right. off. And that means Boo. the clear is gone. No, they Boo. it's still going. Yeah, well, then that's off, but the referee probably just put it. Oh, he fell down. Turnover. Fantilli. Rebound. Oh, oh Moyle. That's okay. That's Wrap in front. Around. Here's a chance. Oh, that's Hughes. Oh, boy. Across. Holtz. Rebound Loose in front. front. Oh, my goodness. And Tilly was there. Back to five on five. He was in the corner. Get it off your stick, bro. There's a loose puck. <sighs> oh, Holtz, that is that's that's not, a dangerous That is not pass. your pass, buddy. <laughs> Because then you got to win a race. There we go. Well, at least the, the game is picked up here. Uh, uh, Brian, your wishes come true. Oh, close. <clears throat> I mean, this is, you know, maybe we can talk about this now, but this is. Now you're back to five on five. You're in a tie game. You're playing well. And BU just BU tied it. BU has tied it. I told you they're going to win. This is what BU does. Terriers. You're just oh, naming, naming dogs. Oh, man. Chihuahuas. That's their mascot. Yeah. Um, but. I That's told you the puck, the goal came off there. Well, I think it was still connected. Well, he put it back down, but. Portillo <laughs> during play. <laughs> He's like, I got this. That's a good save from close. Yeah. Yeah, that could have bounced off the defense and right back in, though. Puck behind the net. We have some breaking news. Northern Michigan has taken a 2 nothing lead. Jeez. Bids, this is the year for the bid stealers. It we seems are like. on the verge of some chaos. Uh oh. Edwards went for a check and didn't oh boy. get it. Here we go. Now, Good shot block. Where is that? Oh, Mackey's going to win. Now go, it. go, Can go, he get out? go. Oh, I just couldn't. There? Oh, but it's, oh, oh. it somehow gets to TJ. Oh, oh here we go. We're going to get one. Is that a hold? Looks like a hold. 5.16 remaining. Thirteen. Who's thirteen? Mm, Pino. Really long Pino. name that I don't really want to type out. Pino. Do you know if the guy named Bavaro on Notre Dame is like Mark Bavaro's kid? Uh, I was looking. I was trying to find that, but I couldn't confirm it. Let me probably look. not then. Also, Mark Bavaro was is like 
Yeah. Old. Yeah. Like, he played at Notre Dame, I think, in the 80s, probably. Right? Yeah, but, you know. All right. Let's see if they can set something up. Slingshot. They have a double back on the slingshot. I bet those are reeds. Uh, I don't really like that shot from Luke. I mean, apparently that shot from just inside the blue line between the circles is a pretty good shot. Yeah. He also had Fantilli on the wing. Yeah, you should, I mean, you should take it sometimes. It got through. Yeah, I just thought it was early. Early in the shot clock. It's not time for hero ball yet. Oh, oh, he just couldn't get it first time because he had a gap there. Yeah. That's whoa, whoa, whoa. Turn him over. Yeah. Get someone down the wall. That was a bizarre decision by Minnesota. Oh, and then a turnover there. And now you got to rush unless Fantilli can get back. He can. You're just going to need a save. Yep. Two on one. Well, this is really that first period was very boring, and now this is a lot of fun. Yeah, this is this is what I come to expect from Michigan and Minnesota. Filling up all my slots for defensive odd man rushes. It's not what I was hoping for tonight. I mean, you have to expect it a little bit, right? Well, it's four for Minnesota, and this one is kind of blank on the other side. Michigan never gets odd man rushes. That's not true. It's they don't get many. They get some. Oh, that was like a change-up. Yeah, that whiffed. Go get it across. Oh, come on. Get it across. What is oh, that? Oh, that's out in front. One touch. Oh, he's just not in the shooting pocket. Good play by Ciccolini. Uh, there you go. Back out top. They're back to five on don't, five. Don't, yeah, but you can't send that up top then because there's a guy out of the box, and now we have another odd man rush. Oh, yeah. but uh, eh, not really. We'll I mean, wave that away. Those, the penalty killers were tired. Yeah. Okay, three minutes. <clears throat> so I guess Michigan didn't think that hit was a major. The or else they would have challenged it, yeah. You're already deep into the second period. If it was even close, they probably would have asked for the review. Had to go, yeah. Oh, got to win that if you're jumping. Oh. Well, I got two oh, no, guys yeah, back. two guys back. I thought that was a defenseman. Oh, that's a lot of guys in. What did that hit? Hit the post. It hit the post or it hit the boards in the back? The announcer said pose. Well. Yeah, the, rea the crowd reacted like it hit the post. Yeah. Oh, that was just wide. Sheesh. Here we go. Oh, Nobody out in no, front. Yeah, I mean. Oh, things are getting tense. I mean, they pretty much been tense. <laughs> things are getting tenser. Tenser. -er. Oh, well, there you go. Now you can tie him up. Rip him. Get in there. Here we go. Uh, yeah. I didn't really have the numbers. Good stick in there. Is that Brindley again? Mm, see, that's a situation where I would say you can clear the zone. Like, bring it back out. Oh, he just fell. Yeah, the pass, the pass was so far out in front of him, yeah. he had to lean. But, like, that, that jam that 
the Michigan defenseman had at the blue line there. Yeah. Like, that's a sp- chance where you can just retreat with the puck instead of, like, trying to force it in. Because you're forcing it into three bodies, and then the odds of you just holding it in are not good anyway. Yeah. So it's almost like the overtime thing where you're just like, well, let's just keep possession. Especially you can go for a change in the long change and all that, too. Yeah, and especially because it's a it's a Olympic rink. So. Right. Ooh. Oh, oh, they, yeah. Mm. Another one. Good Big save. save, Portillo. Man, number five. Yeah, but you look at that. Brodzinski, he wasn't even back helping out or defending. I mean, he, he was he, looking for he, it. He's waiting for it. They're yeah. trying to They're catch it. They're trying Michigan. to catch it. Well, that's how they've got, like you said, all their chances have come. And Michigan's being aggressive. So here you go. Look, look, Casey, Casey. Casey fell yep. asleep. Yep. Yep. And this is all exactly what I talked about. Michigan smelled a little blood, and now they're getting away from what was their game plan coming out in the first period. <clears throat> yeah, but if that doesn't come off and you've just left the zone, then I mean that's probably a reason that Michigan's felt so do- dominant in the offensive zone right now. Yeah, it's a, because it's a, they're, it's a, it's a trade off. Because they're um, who's the guy you see that all the time? Pavel Bure was great at that, right? He'd sit right well, at the sure. blue line and break sure. out and um, get these chances. They pull in their goalie? Apparently not. Don't know why you wouldn't. Point seven. I mean, it's I don't know what a six guy's gonna do there. Yeah. Like two seconds maybe, but Well We're right. right back where we started. Two two and a two. Just like BU and Merrimack. Well, they've only got five minutes left in regulation. It's true. I received a text message. R- have you? How many, From who? How many Pitlicks are there, <laughs> and how has Minnesota had them all for a generation? That was always like an unfortunate there's, Well, there's name. all the, the Pitillas. There's the Pietalas at Pietala Michigan, at Tech. Michigan Tech. Yeah. 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 And, I mean, we were pretty close to getting three Hughes back to back to back there. Kind of makes you think that to be a hockey player, you just need, like. They didn't love Michigan enough. If they loved Michigan more, they would have had, like, nine children. They were all really good. Imagine if we had six more of them on the way. I know. Well, what we got to hope is that, like, the, that's a lot. <laughs> like the uh, the younger generation is yeah. going to be uh, fertile. <clears throat> fertile. <laughs> yes, they will. They will multiply, and be fruitful. I yeah. Because I, get, get, I get the definition. I, I wasn't following the pronunciation. They'll they'll, they'll bang, <laughs> and then they'll have children. Uh, do you, are you getting this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do the job you're paying See, what me we to need, do. What here. we need to do is we need to get them like like in some sort of like con situation, where they're like the con of a conate, like Kazan or the okay. Golden Horde or something. Okay. And then they'll have like 85 children. And then they'll all play hockey. We'll have we'll have nothing but Hugheses. Do you know there was a guy named Jack Hughes who was not Jack Hughes? Yes, who and like he, played for Northeastern. He and plays went? for Northeastern, and he's the son of the Canadians' general manager Kent Hughes, who's not Kent Johnson. No, it's all of the names are intersecting. Uh. It's like we had that dream of Michigan's back seven, where everybody was either. A hill or, or a, a green. green. Yeah. 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 RS says this game is stressful. <laughs> well, That's it wasn't stressful true. in the first period. This, Brian, this was stressful. Brian Nordine says we want more Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian certainly does. You certainly have a plan for it. Too. I got, I got, I got, yeah, I got a business proposal <laughs> for them. <laughs> it's like, we're going to, we're going to conquer Mongolia and then you'll have a harem. Farm them? <laughs> what? Farm children. Yeah. Okay. Essentially. Um, Patrick says, I just got here. How unhinged are we tonight? Uh, we're getting there. We're we're pretty hinged. Are we? I don't feel anything has been unhinged yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dave disagrees. You've, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've made... Jokes about we've diseases. Had, we've had some things go off the rails, but we've been what? getting I, pulled back nothing on. Nothing has gone off the rails. Pull Everything us back on, on Alex. Okay. Uh, we'll go through the scores. 
431 remaining. Northern Michigan 2, Minnesota State 0. Oh. That's probably going to happen. Let's go. You're pumped. Let's go. Wildcat season. <laughs> uh, 14 minutes remaining. Still 3-1 to one Colgate over Harvard. Wow. It's – so that – End of the first period. So Michigan needs Harvard to win to get the three. I don't know exactly. Okay. There were six games and all those outcomes. I could make a big spreadsheet, and I was like, I don't care enough. It's just too much work. Your it, would job. Have, it would have taken hours to do all of those uh, no, scenarios. There's there's a thing called You Are the Committee on College Hockey News that just lets you plug in the, the results of the game. Yeah, I know, but there's all, I was going to do like a graph of like all of the different <laughs> outcomes, right? If you change the result of each of the six <clears> games, but there were so many right. permutations that it would just take a long time. I see. Uh, anyway, St. Cloud State 1, Colorado College 0 after the first period. So that's that would be not a bid thief there. Yeah. Because St. Cloud is like 7th or 8th. Yeah. So let's uh, – the other scores right now, Houston 70, Auburn 59, Texas 31, Penn State 23. UCLA 22, Northwestern 15. So pretty chalky right now. Princeton finished off Mizzou. Not much else to report at the moment. Yeah, man. You ever think to yourself that you... There we go. <laughs> Fine, I won't say it. <laughs> Sorry, you could say it. No, I, I, now I feel chagrined. I'm befuddled. I don't know if I've ever chagrined anyone. Oh yeah, you do it all the time. Okay, okay. Let's take a look at the probability matrix. It has the, not been updated. The, I mean, the probability matrix I saw was basically. Michigan had a 3% chance to get up to the three seed. But that changed last night when Denver lost. Oh, okay. So we went in today with 24% for three. Oh. 24% um, for three, 42% for four, and 35% for five was... Well, it's broader than it used to be. Yeah. Well, I'm the Matrix didn't think that Colorado College was going to beat Denver. Yeah. Well, who did? <laughs> That's uh, probably the Colorado College fans. Chris Mayotte. That's he's that's his. Uh, yeah, we, we, he's yeah. been one of the subplots on the late portion of the hockey cast. This he's year. Ward's leverage over Nerado. <laughs> right? God Man. damn it, Alex! <laughs> I did not think of that. I mean, that's the thing. Well, but, but you know, you know he how, doesn't you know have how more in, in pro sports. The commissioner always got to have one city that, like, oh, if you don't build a new arena, like, we're moving. That's your what team LA, to LA used yeah. to be yeah. for the yeah. NFL. It's, yeah. You don't take less money. We got Chris Mayotte ready. He's <laughs> waiting in the wings. Jeez, I hope that's not what it comes to. Yeah, I got a nickel and dime a guy. Yeah. Also, it's not like Nerado's going to be like, yeah, you got to pay me $60 billion. <laughs> He's going to be like, yes, I will take this head coaching job. I had no thought I would ever have. <clears throat> and then maybe on my second contract, you will pay me more. But I don't think he's going to turn up his nose on uh, an offer. <clears throat> <sighs> All right, so we got to at least talk a little bit about basketball. Well, Seth's going to be mad. No, we'll just repeat what we said here during the other podcast. Not a lot to say. I think that, I mean, just in terms of like, well, I, I, you know, obviously whatever this year was, was cursed. <laughs> and I don't really care about the fact that they lost like a, a game like they lost the other, the, all the other games. But what you do have <clears throat> is you have Doug. Another good game. He had a great first half. Shooting from deep. Like a guy who's... What What did you say? You texted me, he's going to be a superstar? Was that was that a, like a fun emotional, or were you serious? Uh, it was mostly fun. Okay. But well, I, I, you know, I think I'm a big Doug stan, because anytime there's a basketball player on the team that's like my height, then... <laughs> Alex, he's, he's six foot... Six foot. No. He's legitimate. No, he's like five nine, you, even which you is can't still sell taller this. than me. But you sell a lot of things, Brian. That's all not right, all right, all right. But 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 like, in terms of what you expected from Doug McDaniel in year one, 
yeah, he couldn't run an offense, but the shooting is going to really help, and then he'll learn how to run an offense. And the NBA is not going to come anywhere near him. Uh, that's probably true. We just hope he doesn't transfer. Right, just keep him on campus and you got something there. You had uh, Yusuf Hyatt turn in a fairly decent performance with I mean, maybe the best entry pass of the year. I, that was a really good pass. What? <clears throat> um, how many minutes did he actually play? 10 or 15. Okay. Uh, he knocked down a three in that time. He's looked pretty plausible defensively. I don't think he actually got beat at any point. Um, I was watching a UM Hoops video of one of his games from uh, his youth team in France last year, and they were pointing out that he was the worst rebounder in the history of humanity. Um, I mean, that can't be true. Well, no, it's Jet Howard. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that was the obvious answer. But uh, it was a guy, it was just clearly a guy who's going to need some work. And this feels a little bit to me kind of like when Mo Wagner got on the court late in his redshirt freshman year, where you're like, why wasn't that guy oh, playing his previous? freshman year? He didn't redshirt? No. He played his freshman year and played a little in the tournament, and then the second year he was um, better, and then the third year he was, okay. yeah. So to me, it, it felt a little bit like that, where like, I'm sure there are reasons uh, for Hyatt not playing hardly at all. But he comes on the floor, and you're like, oh, wow, that's uh, – <laughs> we could have used you, that from you the You see some upside. Here. Yeah. Um, is he a four? Yeah, he's a four. Like, really? Is that all he is? I mean, these distinctions are – like, you have centers, you have point guards, and then you just have other guys, right? Yeah. So like a Like a wing player. Right. It's, yeah. So he's like a he's like a big four, or a big three, or a small four, whatever. It's he's in that three four range. And uh, I liked what I saw from him. It seemed like he, he has uh, some promise there. And then you're just like hoping to get some guys back and progress. Get a four in the portal. And like, well, they're looking at a couple, right? Yeah, and I, I saw like. Uh, Colin TJ on Twitter was kind of talking about how he doesn't really know about BJ Mack because he doesn't look like anything like a defender as a four, as a five. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't care about that. Well, because, like, what was the problem with the team this year? Was it the offense or the defense? The answer I, was kind of like both and neither. Yeah, the problem was that it wasn't a problem. It was problems. Right. And so they were, I think they finished, like, 42nd-ish in offense and 53rd in defense. And if BJ Mack is a guy who radically improves your offense. And it looks like, I mean, that guy is a, a, a beefy dude who can shoot threes and has, like, a lot of game. Like, even if he's not an upgrade defensively, and I don't think he would be, as long as he's on par with the kind of, like, a completely mediocre defense we got from the four spot this year. I mean, if you're the number five offense and the number 53 defense, that's a good team. That's a beeline team. That's a good beeline yeah, team. Yeah, I don't. I mean, can they be that good offensively, though? Um, you know, if they get – so I, I'm assuming at this point they get Hunter back because he won't make more money anywhere else in the world than Michigan to play basketball next year, and it seems like he likes the college stuff. Yeah. And it's like, can they get either Jet or, or Kobe back? And I don't, I don't know about either of those. But if they get one of those guys back, yeah, I think they can because you're going to see Doug McDaniel take a quantum leap, right? Freshman to sophomore – ton of minutes, like a guy who his quickness is going to, like his his ceiling as a college player is higher than a lot of guys because he's super quick and he actually has some shooting. So, so we have some breaking news. Okay. Minnesota State. Has scored twice with no the goalie pull way. to tie with the, oh. the extra attacker. Yep. So they're it's going to two overtime two in the final minute. We'll see if they. Go oh my goodness! Time. And and now and BU Merrimack and, and Merrimack BU are going, are going to overtime. overtime. Wow. We could go to overtime. <laughs> well, that's happened on one of the other watch-alongs. <laughs> <laughs> I think that went to two overtimes, if I remember correctly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was. Um, we were here till. Suboptimal. Break of daylight. <laughs> <laughs> and 
then they lost after being up seven points with two minutes left in overtime number one. And I was like, and that wasn't even worse than today. They are officially going to overtime. That one is. <sighs> and now we are underway here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Third, 1942, and the whistle. Was the first offsides of the game? Uh, no, there was, an it was, there was a the purposeful, is that what you called it? Yep. Intentional. Okay, but intentional. Like two offsides and two periods of hockey is amazing. Well, as we talked about, it's a little easier to enter the zone here with you, the space on the wings. Yeah, but this just goes to show how amazing hockey is without offsides. <laughs> I'll never let it go. I know. Can we talk about... Oh, oh. here we go. Mackie? Oh. oh. I was going to say... That's the guy you want shooting from there. I, yeah, well, usually he's trying to pick a corner and he hit him in the chest. Oh. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it was crazy they gave Coach of the Year to Moscow again instead of Adam Nightingale. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, having the best team in the country might be war. I mean, yeah, but they gave it to him. Oh. This is his third in four years. So and you got a guy that took play. a team from like shambles to the bubble. Like that pass there is yeah, overly really like, ambitious, and now you have. I don't know. Moscow won the Big Ten by like a million points, but he also had the best team by far. Okay, he also has one of the youngest teams. Uh, not on defense and not in goal. Like, why doesn't Nick Saban win the SEC Coach of the Year like eight out of ten years? Because well, that's a different argument. Oh, oh, that's a freebie. Nope. Skate. Oh, go, go, go. Get it up. There it is. Is it's this an odd on rush? One. It actually is. And just it's shoot it. Nazer, just shoot. Oh, he shot it into the defender. Just shoot that, Frank. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. That's two big saves. Get it close. to the slot. <sighs> Who no knows front? where it is? Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Now you got to be careful. It's one-on-one. -on -one. It's Holt. Oh. <sighs> Well, that is a Do I have to be events. nice now? That might go on my right up. Oof. All right, I got to see this again to see what happens. Dude, take the body. Take the body. Okay. That's part of my issue. If you're going to be that size, you have to be that size. Yeah, he's right there. Just clock him. Just step right up. Take him off the puck. Because the thing is, Pitlick isn't gaining any speed there. Nope. He's just standing still. He's just getting you off balance. Well, frustrating that this game appears to be coming down to some extremely bad mistakes by Michigan defensemen. Yep. Well, and I mean, the truth is, is that there's a couple others that they've made that they haven't even paid for. Yeah. <clears throat> this is just. You got to shoot. The you got to shoot the puck there. I don't know, man. Like he got that across. That's a one timer across the slot. It's a it's a bad shot, no question about it. Like that's that's <sighs> I mean it's about as bad as it gets. You like Steve Holtz and you like his story and you hope the best for him, but like 
there's a reason why you cringe when he's in space. Because... Well, ideally, he would not be one-on-one -on -one with an NHL, NHL draft pick, yes. Well, <coughs> correct, but he doesn't use his size, and that's the one thing that he really has. And but that's an issue. Defenders have to be able to defend one-on-one, -on -one. and it's not like he's going up against Connor McDavid there. Right? Like, if the guy's got a lot of speed and he can't handle it, that's one thing, but look at this. Oh, Good chance for Mackey. Jeez. Well, if you're Michigan, you got to just keep going. Yep. You have to forecheck. You have more chances than them. You have more shots than them. Just got to keep shooting. I mean, you get that look right there, and you had the look right before they score the goal. So. Yeah, they've really dominated this game in terms of, like, possession and chances. And they just had... Um, they've dominated in, like, half-court chances. But they've given a lot of that back uh, in well, no, but just transition so chances. Like Minnesota has had fewer chances, but the chances they've been had, they've had, like, two slam dunks and then that, which is... Well, I mean, they've had, uh, like... They had a couple others that they didn't score. On. Yeah, yeah, but just in terms of... But it's a little like in soccer. I mean, isn't that what the Netherlands did to the U.S. where they seeded possession and then just killed them in transition? But that's, that doesn't work in hockey. Seeding possession doesn't work in hockey, but, like, they've... Uh... Well, not the same way. But, I mean, my, my point here is that just, like, the errors Michigan have made has just set... Yeah, I mean, the, for the problem is, is there have been... Something beyond grade A chances. Five or go. six of them. It's not been, like... A couple. It's been way too many. No, I don't think it's been five or six. They've had five or six odd man rushes. But an odd man rush is not a dangerous chance but inherently. It's, but if it's, your defensemen are not donkeys, but and it, that's like the but problem these, we've had this year. There's a chance. I can't see it. There it but is. we're not talking about. Like, but we're talking about like a two on zero. Oh. A like, two on zero. Oh, they've had a breakaway. There, oh, there it is. is. Is that Casey? Did that go off somebody? It's deflected. It had to have hit something. I still have no idea on that. Oh, they're tapping Brindley. Yep. There's just bodies. <laughs> it's not. It's Rucker. I think it just well, goes in. Brindley went over to Casey. Nope. Just top. That doesn't hit McGordy? Don't think so. That would be a hat maybe, trick maybe if it, it was. Did. If it did, it just grazed if him. If it did, it grazed him, yeah. It, wasn't, it certainly was not a stick deflection. But we were talking earlier in the game about how Michigan wasn't able to get traffic in front of the net when they needed their shots, and that's obviously a situation. Offside challenge. <sighs> this should not be it. This should not be it. So game. I do not care. They're probably... Do, this is not one where you have to be reasonably certain, right? Because they have something no, to burn, you free, and it's the, you it's, you have a free, challenge. so they're so going to... It may be, it may not be. I didn't... Rutger wasn't. Was Fantilli? Here we go. Oh, this is it? Oh, darn it. That's not offsides. Rutger is. No, but... Nobody's touching it. But nobody's touching it. Oh, that's the Kale McCarr goal from the St. Louis series yeah, and in and the playoffs. And he's back on side. He's back on side. So are, are the, oh, are hold the, on, hold on. So it goes off his It goes skate. off of Nye's skate. So nobody touches it until he's out of the zone. Yeah, because Rucker is – yeah, because he's going to get out of the zone. Alex is – Yeah, that's a goal. Yeah, they called it. Goal. Yeah. Very Which means that well, it would help if the announcers had any idea what was going on. <laughs> That's why people. That's tune why in people tune, tune in to the watch along. <laughs> Point Mgo. <clears throat> yeah, McCarr had a goal like this against yes. Edmonton, right in the conference finals, where he didn't have control when the puck went back in. Yeah. 
It doesn't matter because the puck wasn't touched until Michigan cleared the zone. You don't have an offsides call when the puck is not touched. That's just straight up ignorant. Do we... Um Yeah, they're giving that to Casey, so it must not. Rutger gets an assist, though, so that's a three-point night for him. Well, yeah, he's got three points. <laughs> Good job, Duke. All right, let's see if we can tighten up the transition chances and win <laughs> this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you'd think if Michigan doesn't give up any odd man rushes for the rest of the game that you'd be – They'd be favored. That's that's a big ass. Yeah. They're at five. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, but on the other hand, they're they've been aggressive and they've yeah, and that's controlled most of the play. Couple guys uh, losing some edges. Wow, that was Mario <laughs> oh, ma oh my goodness, you're lucky there. Wow, but the guy like taking the puck. Oh, don't drop some forward. Just Moyle just dropped into the slot. You got to step out on that. Yeah, I don't Michigan State it. Uh, well, because you don't let him walk in. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Michigan State's playing five goalies, six goalies. Well, they used to. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. not fair anymore. Yeah. Pass. Oh, just jumped <laughs> off his stick. Good job, Luke, going back. No, no unnecessary pinches. But now he's behind the net. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, that was a good look. Oh, oh, oh he can get it across. Yeah. Oh, uh, that pass was deflected. They've been right there. Yeah. Well, I'm just glad the first period was oh my, not see, the whole game. Those are the turnovers. Yeah, you got uh, two guys back, it. though. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, person. Is that blocked? <sighs> yes. Looked like it. Oh, my goodness. Portillo is at totally sea. swimming right yeah. now. Well, because... <laughs> Can't see Get anything. Out. Yep. I feel comfortable saying that if this game goes to overtime, it'll be at four four. <laughs> Can't say How that. How do you feel comfortable saying? <laughs> Because I don't think this game is going to be 3-3 <laughs> at the end of regulation. So if we're in overtime, it's, it's going to be 4-4 four, four, at least. All right. Oh, my goodness. So the qualifier there is if it goes to overtime. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's what okay. I said. If it okay. goes to overtime, it's going to be at 4-4. Four, four. Okay. So someone's going to score in this period. Yeah. All right. I've been watching the last three minutes. And okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't leave it there. Oh, my goodness. Lose pucks in your own slot. <laughs> Just. There he goes. Not really anything. Is Hallam up on the. Uh... Oh! Almost had a Is replay. Hallam been playing the on the second, second line. Uh, and. Oh, no, that's a replay. Well, if there's a game that you're going to bump up Jackson Hallam, it's on Olympic ice yeah. against Minnesota. Yeah. I'm get. Oh, good pass. Oh, good what a move. move. Oh, good save. Oh, whoa. Just get, get it out. Get it out. Get over there. All right, I'm coming around to Alex's take. He has lots of takes. Oh, boy. Is that the post? Whew. Michigan's got to just settle this game down. Yeah. 
just get a whistle, get to that commercial break, and then. Yeah. I mean, they they got to get a change. They got to get the right. This would be a good time for Portillo to kick that net off. <laughs> He's on the right end, right? Yes, that's, he is. That's the end. This is where he does the Quinnipiac. My skate is broken. I need oh. to go to the bench. Oh. Chip it out. Chip it out. There we go. Get, get your the change. change. And it hit, hit the bench. Hit the bench. Perfect. No, it hit I needed to break. <laughs> <laughs> yep, right off the post. So that's two for both teams, right? Two posts? Uh, yeah. There was one for Michigan. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember, remember a second. There, I thought there was a second. <clears throat> Colgate 3 2 over Harburg with two minutes and 16 seconds left. Man, can they get there or not? <sighs> so, all right. Anything in chat that we need to address? Let me look at the chat. To make Patrick send you money? Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's do that. He's an engineer. I think having a watch-along during the NCAA tournament for hockey is... Oh, my gosh. Foolhardy, perhaps. <laughs> but we're doing it anyway. Northern and Minnesota State have started overtime. <clears throat> Man, Northern must be kicking themselves. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right, 9, 11, 10, 9, 09, 9, 08. 3, 3 in the third. That is why we're all just not breathing. Yeah, Minnesota has really taken back the impetus here. Minnesota State has won. And Boston U just won. And Boston U won? Well, I told you BU was going to win. So that's uh, good if we're shooting for the three seed. Bad if we don't want the five seed. Well, it's three three. Make your own destiny. There you go. Four five is functionally not much of a difference. It's the same sort of teams in that range that you would play yeah. in the first round. Last change. Oh, it was there. Just pulled it. Ooh, off that. I didn't see what that hit. Oh, oh. Oh, good pass. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, it's a Duke. This is going to be interesting. Yep, Duke. I mean, he was he was not in the crease. No. There's no way that's going to no. be. That is the most Dylan difference. Duke goal. It's like Jossie's already scoring a goal off his face. <laughs> that's a deep cut <laughs> for your USMNT <laughs> you, fans. You would find a way to bring Jossie Zardis into this. So Duke actually makes the pass. Originally. Oh, that's a great oh, play yeah, from Duke. Goal. That's a really great play. Well, they, they, would, they would risk a, a, a power play, but there's nothing there. He gets pushed into the goalie, and he's outside the crease. They didn't even look at it. Well, gang, buckle up. All right, we got 8.07. We have a one-goal lead at Mariucci against Minnesota. The last two times this happened, Minnesota scored. So, <laughs> so. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. What I'm telling Alex, I hate I hate you now. What? Because you're like this game's going to overtime at four four. No, no, he said if, if it goes. If it, over. No, but now now it's a prophecy. You've made a prophecy. <laughs> well, but he didn't say it's going I, to. overtime. I don't make the rules. It's a prophecy. You just want to keep saying that word. Well, I don't make the rules. <laughs> That's not true. You own this company. I don't make the rules for like life. You try. If I did, people would have more toes. <laughs> You'd have some extra toes, kind of so like, like sharks. You said have extra sometimes teeth. that you could like just rip off a toe. And you be should. Like, I'm done you with should this. be able to pl oh. play with a, a sixth skater as a treat. As a treat. So, <laughs> what else? What are other examples of treats? What? 
What do you mean? Like treats? if that's a treat, like you should you, you should be able to hit each other in the head a little bit as a treat. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that offsides. Yeah. yeah, that's out. What? Yeah, I have children. <laughs> They hit each other in the head. They hit me like they bite me. Do they? Do they pull on your hair? Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm like, get off my hair, and they're like, but your hair is so flowing and beautiful, Dad. <laughs> That's a great finish, by the way. He gets, he's kind of stuck. The, his close comes out, and he reaches out, and knows that's where the finish is going to be. His far side just gets outside yeah, the skate, holds up backhand, stick. like, like with the celly. He's so like, are you he's uh, sitting on a Minnesota player holding up his stick like he's fucking Conan the Barbarian? So Hell yeah. So are you um so short shift or are you uh going to shorten your bench here? Uh somewhat. But what I'm more interested in is I mean they go to two pairs. No, I would tell my team we're stapling the defenseman to the points. Mm, yep. No cycling down in the zone. Nope. None of that. Nope. We are, you know what? You know what? We're letting the forwards Here's do the, the narrative. work below the goal line. Michigan was here the last two times, and yep. neither time they didn't finish it. Neither time. This is did. the time. All right, we have competing prophecies. I had to do something. One of you will be the Oracle of Delphi. I was going to say something clever, but then I couldn't think of anything. Oracle of the Matrix. That's not clever. That's what are you talking about? Icing. Need a face-off win here. Six fifteen. Top line out at least. Oh, to the point. Shot through traffic. Block. Oh, here down. you go. Make it. Can't skate it though. They, they need a change. You need a change. Yeah. yeah. Nice job by Fantilli to, to hit the net. Yep. And Got a Penn a State shot time. on goal. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, that was actually in the zone, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see the percentage of Penn State's Corsi attempts from between the blue line and the red line. Yeah. 5.52. He had a rough outing in uh, mini golf. Did you see the... The no. video of them playing mini golf. I did not. He see had it. he had a couple lip outs, and he was he was very upset about it. Didn't blame him. I thought it was the way. So rough. our our internet cut out a little bit and just paused with, on a shot of Anna that's Fantilli where he looked exactly like Charlie Day from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's cable. It's not internet. Well, whatever. Here we go. Two on one. Let's get in tight. Rebound. Oh. oh. Now get out. Get back. Get back. I don't think that's a two-on-one. That was a turnover at the blue line. Is that Hughes and Karen? So they're double-shifting Hughes. Yeah. <laughs> Hughes just made someone fall down. And it has happened. It has Colgate happened. Colgate has done it. Colgate has won. So there. Colgate, Canisius. So Colgate, Colgate will be 15. And probably Alaska is gone. Oh. We have to look at the updated... Uh, Situation, and we're going to just miss them. So now we have to hope to get. Well, well, if we get up to we three, we would get maybe yeah. CC if they win. I don't know what that score it's is. It's still one nothing, St. Cloud. No. Still a period. Let's in not the count change. those chickens just yet. Okay. We yeah. Oof. Unfortunate. I don't want to get that. Oh, there you go. Oh, Edwards hit. with a face rock. Not a face rock. That's five minutes and a million games. Chest rock. Oh. Oh, I don't. Uh, I get scared on those shots because if they yeah, give that, a if they give a kick, then he's like committed. Yeah, that one got through at least. Oh, you gotta win that. You have two guys there. Four minutes even. To the point. Ooh, skate. Just get across center. Yep, shoot and get your in. dump in. Oh, but see, Why that's, did he do it from a... I don't know. Well, it's okay because it didn't go the length, but you turn over possession. Right, and you get it right to the guy where he can play it right away and instead of him having to turn and face. and. Well, it didn't hurt go. him at least. Nope. That's in the net. That's okay. That's 335. That offen- that's offensive zone face off. Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah, okay. That's <clears> okay, so if you're Bob Motzko, when are you pulling the goalie? 
No. Well, what, well, is, what does analytics say? Usually, like three minutes? In between two and three depends on the team. I mean, for me, this is like I'm putting out the fourth line for their last shift right now because you have an offense zone face off. Uh, you mean Michigan's? Yeah. Okay. Like you can you can probably get away with it right here. Well, their fourth line hasn't been bad. No, but you don't really want to get stuck in your own zone. Yeah, so that's what they did. They just go into the corner. I, I don't go low to high. Yeah, for real, right? Yeah. yeah don't start the breakout. Push everything down. See if you can get like a cross check line. or a yeah. trip or You're something. You're not going to get any of that ever. <laughs> you, it, I it's just say. It's going to be flagrant if you get it. They, uh -oh. get, they, they got Hughes out there with uh Good save, Portillo. Got, the, got low and put it in the corner. In case he kept everything in front of him there. Yep. Three minutes even. Oh, he wanted to go across. Someone's backside. Oh, <laughs> good save. Portillo again no. is right there. But even, the I mean, and the net's you're right. Off. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The net is off. They're so mad that they, their net is messed up. <laughs> and Portillo's but, like, what me, but worry? If the, if the net wasn't off, Portillo still makes that save, and that's a big thing. Why does this only happen at your rink? Boom. You've seen this happen in every game. And they're booing the net being off, and it's your net. It's <laughs> your net. <laughs> Fix your net. I mean, that's not even anything. He doesn't even try to kick that off. Yeah. I'm making a note of all the booing so we can talk about it on the hockey. I game. mean, so the thing is in the NHL, right? If the goal, if the net comes off, but the puck's going in anyway, they'll count it. Right. But this puck isn't going in. No, because he makes well, the it, save. Well, it is, but, but he makes, the makes save. it right. And that was my original. That's the point. same in college now, by the way, too. If it's imminent. Yeah. Which it should be. Yeah. But why does this only happen in your rank on At this that end? end? At that end, yeah. All right, 250, defensive zone face-off, 249, 248, 247. Michigan who, wins who it. Who won that? Chip it deep. Uh, Get your change. Duke was on the – so probably Nazer because I think he's been on the third line. No, they got weird guys out there because Moyle was still out there I for that. A lot of weird guys. <coughs> Maybe they couldn't change because of the – The net coming off? Net yeah, coming I off. think that was the situation. Got to win that if that could play Hughes. Oh, but then he – He's going to uh, beat him out, beat him out, beat him out. Oh, yep. oh they called it. Oh, wow. They made the right uh, call. I don't know that that, that was, was not the right call. No, I don't think so either. I don't think Burnley won that, but. Oh. Mm. <sighs> Boy. Fantilli went down hard in the corner. And then. Well, you just got to ice it? Rutger just iced it. All right, you can take so your the, time out. The now. goalie pull's going to happen here, and Nerado's going to take his time out. Oh, I thought you were clapping. No, like, no he's, he's, he's Peyton Manning yeah. at the, the first Monday Night Football game of the year. Well, they always wait until the last possible second. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets... <laughs> Yeah, for real. Yeah, chal should just uh, chal challenge that hit from the anything. second period. Be like, ah, we uh, think that's <laughs> kind of fishy, guys. <laughs> 24 minutes ago. <laughs> Ugh. Yikes. <laughs> this is not controversial <laughs> in any way whatsoever. Stop showing it, you absolute goons. <laughs> you, the puck was not touched until he was well out of the zone. And it was sent in by a gopher. Uh, I don't know if that counts. Like, this is sure. his impetus. The skate deflects it. So one question real quick. Is a hockey Rutger when Rutger McGordy outscores the other team? 
Yeah, but sure. That's uh, it was true in the second period. Correct. That's when it was asked. We didn't get to it at the time. It's like a recursive Rutger. Man, that was a nice play by Duke. And and after I was yeah, he's just like this is not sitting a game on the goal. Like well, uh, it was on the he's defender, on his but. he's on his throne of skulls with his his sword aloft. <laughs> it's much better than anything else. And I said like this isn't a game for Duke. And and in that sense, I you know well, it isn't. But you know he made a play where Duke makes plays. I only count five Gophers. Well, it's a good thing for them because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ball would. The puck game would be over if, uh, oh, mowed down. Yep, good job. Oh, man, he whipped can, on it. Yeah, now you got, I mean, is the top line good just going to play check. the rest of the game? Here There's comes close. 94 seconds. Chip up the wall. Got it's out. Win the race. Win the race, win Brindley. The race Brindley. Oh, he didn't. Man, he's close. He, he 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 beat his man. He did the right he thing. Couldn't beat but the second guy. There weren't two guys. Yeah. So top line for Minnesota's playing. Out, out, out. Yes. Oh man! Get oh, there. Go, right go. There. there. Chip it oh, out. Chip it out. Okay. Yep, there it is. Go is for it. Is he going for it? Oh, was that Fantilli? Well, now everyone gets to stand around and. So if you win this one back, flip it up in the air. And get your change? Yep, just as high as you can and have it plop down like around center or a little hit, pass. Hit the video board? Yeah. <laughs> like it? Uh, yeah. I think that's still icing, basically. No. You, you, you going to change off that? They won it. Sort kind of. of. But they didn't win the puck. He well, went to the side. Yeah. Now you just got to get a shot blocked. I couldn't get it in the shooting pocket. In the corner. 42. 42, 41, 40. Oh, rebound. Oh, man. Go on net. <laughs> <laughs> Close. I Just rooting. 27.8. Man, Portillo, he's got to catch that puck. Yeah. Got to catch it. I mean, same result, right? Like, they get the rebound. and No, know, but if you catch it, you squeeze it, oh, you I get see. a change. Yeah. I mean, they're not changing these guys, though. This is, this yeah, is No, they are changing. They changing. Yeah. Got Luke there it Luke. is. Oh, that's it. No. No, there's going to be one they more. They get rush. one more. That's it. Nope. Nope. Just chip it. You get a change. Off. Clear yeah. it. Clear it. Yep. That's going to stop. That's going to stop. That's it. Yeah, they're That's playing it. Three seconds, two seconds, <sighs> one second. Yeah. Two years in a row. All three times they've done it has been in that rink. All right, guys. Remove the fucking interim tag. <laughs> Man, that guy, guy was courting uh, danger. There was a small child in the first <laughs> row holding up a 20-23 Big Ten champs. I mean, this m means far less in the regular season, but, like, who cares? It's a banner. Hey, Hang a banner. Hey, if you win if you win the Big Ten tournament, then it means more than the regular season. No, you don't, If you don't win no, it, it if you don't it win it, it then the regular season was always the real thing. No. you got to get it right. No. So that's hockey and football back-to-back. In tw in 2018 and 20, it's not. It doesn't really count. In 2018, you're always a downer. <laughs> I'm not always I'm a downer. Trying to bring energy. This is not like, numb. There are rules. Like, Thumbs down, Dave. They played. They played 24 games, and Minnesota won the, the conference by a lot. So, and if you add the points, okay. So we got the B result we need. We got the result for the Michigan game. We did we not need. get the, the Harvard. Harvard result. Well, let's wait till pairwise updates. We, we got to give it. Well, like let's. Can we plug all the results into you are the committee and see where we're at right now? Well, I don't have a laptop, so either does someone have Alejandro a laptop or Alejandro? David. 
Wait, he, he has a laptop. Here, uh, that's not my. I'm not familiar with this. You brought two this laptops. We have Alejandro Zuniga in the like, peanut gallery. He's, by the he, way. Well, he he's been our like seven off employee. camera assistant. Yeah, he's been running the behind the scenes. He's stuff. been holding up. Uh, he's trying to be informative notes for us. He's been trying to do like producer stuff. Yeah, he's been he's been very helpful. <laughs> Diversifying <laughs> his portfolio, not so just so. We plugged in Michigan. We plugged in St. Cloud over CC, and Michigan is three in that one. Let's take St. Cloud over CC. Michigan's three in that one too. So they might be three. Which is Allentown with Penn State. And potentially a bid stealer. So if CC wins, then we get Colgate. If St. Cloud wins, we get Merrimack. Merrimack, Both. you don't want Merrimack, right? Because uh, you like their goal. I'd rather have CC. Yeah. Both of those sound better than Minnesota State, though. Well, probably we can. Well, we can look at that in a second. Put this on, or no, we should watch the awards. Yeah, I think it's an intermission. But after that, remember, um, CC's on CBS Sports well, Network. We can put it on over there. Yeah, that, that game's right. over. Okay. Well, you want me to do it? Or you got it. No, I. I this. Do you this have an is, answer to the question? This yeah. is your domain. Okay. Yeah, you have the. the then TV you guys. Remotes. You guys. <laughs> you want us to riff? <laughs> so anyway, that's when my dog had a hysterectomy. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> no, seriously, she, look, Lindsay, Lohan Lindsay Lohan was in this movie. Look, what? Good things to talk about. Okay, they won the game, but like, what am I, like, I'm supposed to talk about the people in the Maze Rage are happy? I'm happy too. Children ghosts. Children ghosts, yeah, sorry. Um. Oh, dad's there. And Lucas' dad. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Excellent. It's nice to win a ch uh, uh, championship and then have the entire arena booing you. It's also like kind of nice to win it. <laughs> it's also kind of nice to win it in Minnesota. There is a little bit of extra. Yeah, no, yeah, it's good. Oh, you only won it because you're at home. Well, no. No. All right. I'm looking at the Merrimack team just to get a sense here. We have no crossovers with them. No, we have the yeah, BU we have B crossover. B yeah. We have BU, right? Yep. I don't even know if that counts as a crossover because early in the that season. That was so long ago. For BU and B Michigan. Michigan, yeah. And also the Friday game with the concurrent yeah. majors. All right, here's an interview with interim. Somebody scratch that off. What man? I got. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people are people are. <laughs> Go there, is, there has been a there has been a screenshot Patrick posted Barrett. by Patrick. <laughs> it was like M Go oh, excitement, excitement summed, summed up. up, and these guys are high fiving, and I am <laughs> contemplating death. <laughs> and fine, that's how we do it around uh, here. We all have to have things. Uh, you know, it's like. Uh, I'm always thinking about like, okay, what happens if they score? I I I fist pumped in this game. You cannot deny that I you fist did. pumped. I you did. You did. Yeah. We all. You yelled when they scored goals. Yeah. So you guys, you guys got to back off with this whole like uh, business here, because I'm not. I'm not a robot. I'm a man. <laughs> you are a man, Brian. <laughs> Thank you. You're forty. <laughs> that, that was a that meme. Was so <laughs> that was a meme. <laughs> Well, Fantilli there's... wins the MVP he didn't for score the. Tonight. He didn't score tonight, but he did set a record for most goals in the Big Ten tournament. Did he? Yeah. Okay. 
So that'll happen. Man, you think we could get him back next year? Uh, like his brother's I don't gonna be here. I think it's out of the question. I don't. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. No. But I don't think it's out of the question. Also, why can't we just hey, look? There's red. Nil him, and be like, hey. I mean, I just have some coin. Play N- some hockey. Nil is harder for hockey because it's just like why? Because like look at Moyle. Good for Moyle. Like coming uh, back. You know. He's like, I got two of these now. Stephen Ross doesn't really care about hockey, I don't think. There's some, there's people that – there's boosters. Yeah, but there's – there's yeah, so – but the NIL Michigan can summon for football versus what they can summon for hockey is like – it's a different – it's a different league, of course. So, uh, Patrick, if you're out there still watching, get – if you have any screen caps of anything good, uh, get them of this game because I can use them in the post because we do not have a photographer here again. <laughs> So we have no photos of the last two trophies. So if you have anything that I can use, Patrick, that's your job now. Go find it. I'm just putting I'm just putting everyone to work. All right. There's got to be a Michigan fan who can photographize some things who lives in Minneapolis. We got it. Yeah. Give us give us a ring. Somebody knows somebody who has a connection because it's a paid gig. Things We're not going to ask you to do it. For thing, free. Yeah. Things keep happening there. And uh, yeah, there's games. There's games are and such. happening. Wait, the Big so, Ten men's basketball room is in Minneapolis next year? Is it really? Well, yeah. That's insane. Why would you do that? That's like. Because they move it around. I know, but like you move it around to places that people can get to. So, as it stands currently, Denver is point zero 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 one ahead of Michigan at RPI. <laughs> but based on what we ran earlier, Michigan should jump above them when the St. Cloud result goes final, regardless. Regardless. That's what the you are the committee thing how, showed. How does that How does that make any sense? I mean, wouldn't that only did, did they do did Denver do poorly against St. Cloud this year? See, look, St. Cloud, Michigan's 3. Right. CC I wonder if Denver... Oh, there we go. What? So we want St. Cloud now. We we wanted St. Cloud before. Right. Okay. There we go. Wait, did we? So if CC wins, then Denver stays ahead? When I ran it the ahead? first time, uh, Michigan jumped Denver in either result. Now we want St. Cloud. Because you ran it with CC now and... Look at this. Look at that. The RPIs would be exactly the same. <laughs> 5789 to 5789. So the 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 tiebreaker is like in the millionth it's, it's place. A com- it's a comparison that Michigan jumps up in that scenario. Apparently, is it because they lost to him last year? All right. So, the, but that's like wait, it's like one nothing in the third for. It's about Saint to Cloud? start the third period. Yeah. Okay. So that that probably means they go to Allentown then. I mean, it doesn't really matter where they go. Well, it does a little because the two seed changes. Yes, because well, Penn State has to be in Allentown. And and I think that that's a more favorable two so seed. So you think Michigan as a three can get like the eight? As Penn, well, Penn State might be the seven, right? Well, they are the eight, but they have to go to Allentown. I understand that. Okay. But like if you're the three and you get the seven, it's not like that's a big win, I guess. Right. Well, it it depends who you're getting. If you're if you get BU as your two versus Penn State as your two, I'm I'm probably taking Penn State. Oh hell time. yes, yeah. No, no, there's no. And I think that's about that. I think that's the difference here. Yeah. Well, I think this is kind of cool. So, all right, let's talk a little bit about this game. Um, you know, you mentioned that. Michigan was the better team, and they just gave away really good chances. And I think that that's key, is that Michigan probably was the better team. And Minnesota mostly was in this game because they took advantage of Michigan mistakes in transition. I mean, you made a, a pretty good comment when you were comparing it to the USA at the World Cup because that did feel like what happens in a lot of soccer games these days where some team dominates possession and then the other team just tries to counter that 
usually isn't a viable strategy in, in hockey because the chances that you get off the counter in hockey, you can't just seed possession in hockey. No. And the possession is always closer than it is. And I don't think that that was a plan. But, no. But what I do think is it goes back to Alex's original point in his preview of where he said that he liked Michigan's depth more. And if you look at all of, most of the really good chances for Minnesota, it was with their top line. Yeah, and it was like with, when they had zone time, right? It was with their top line when they were blessed with odd man rushes. Well, but when they had the puck in Michigan zone, because it happened. Yeah. It wasn't with their fourth line. It wasn't as much with their third line. It was mostly with their top line. But just in terms of like generating chances five on five in the zone, Michigan dominated that game. Because Michigan was doing it with almost every line. I right. mean, the and fourth line was doing it. And so they stepped up their four check in the second period, and that took the game from a very anodyne to – a lot of chances that Michigan had the best of, and I mean, I mean, it, it, I don't want to bring this up, but it kind of felt like the TCU game a little bit. In in what sense? In that when Michigan screwed up, they screwed up in titanic ways. Yeah, and TCU just cashed their chances. Right, and it's like, and then like for like you give Minnesota a two on zero. Oh, yeah, you give Minnesota a two on one, and then your defenseman commits to the puck. In a extremely naive way, essentially giving them a cross slot one timer from the and house and a shot. He got to pick right the first yeah for the first goal. So so, I mean, the expected value of Minnesota's chances was huge. Yeah, and you know Alex was saying that odd man rushes don't necessarily have to be dangerous if you play them right. And yep. and I don't disagree with that. But the I one mean, thing... I like a one-on-one -on -one should not end up in your net well, under any circumstance. A one-on-one -on -one is... Unless it's Connor McDavid. A one-on-one -on -one is not an admin rush. Right. Well, but, but, but it's, it's, it, we're talking about just rush chances against. But what right? I'm the saying... Sort of counterattacks that ended up in Michigan's end didn't have to be as threatening as they were. Michigan oh. played them very poorly. So I... Okay. I agree with that more in terms of a... Three on two and a four on three. A two sure. on one is different. And Michigan gave up three two on ones, a two on zero, oh and a and a one on zero. Oh. Okay, but a, so those are like all of the dangerous kinds. A, a two on one, like if you play that right, it's basically a guy with a decent, not great angle taking a shot on your goalie. On your goalie, right? That's not great, but it's not in the same universe as a two on zero. Oh. Correct. Yep. Well, two on zero so is like, like the best possible. Yeah, but your EV on a on a two on one is like, I don't know, a tenth of a goal maybe. Yeah, I'd say point one to point two, depending. But there's also it they depends also gave on how well it's played. Three of them, and and Michigan has not been great all year at defending odd man rushes. They, oh. they, now I'm not saying that Portillo hasn't bailed them out, but I'm talking about from the defenseman back. There have been guys who've made plays for sure. But if you would tell me, if you would ask me, you know, what do you think is a higher likely percentage chance of happening? The defenseman makes a great play to break it up, or Portillo bails you out with a save. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick the second one almost every time, just also because Portillo has been generally good at that throughout his career. Yeah, I mean he's six foot six, so that's one of the things that really bothers me about the Pearson thing. Is like if there's any goalie who you should just be like, ah, take your shot, take it. Yeah, it's 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 uh, Portillo and Michigan has run defenses last year and this year a little bit where they use that tactic where yeah. they give you that shot from below the dot and and have Portillo hug the post and just be I call it Mount Portillo saves where he just it gets huge yeah and you have nothing but aside look, we kind of got off on the odd man rush thing but aside from that you know this is the team that stampeded through the Big Ten took. More points from Michigan, although you know six of those were against a shorthanded team. Right, I don't think that yeah, you should even factor that in. They're unquestioned the number one team in the country. Yeah, and Michigan just went into their arena pretty three much, times in a row, pretty much, and well, played them straight up, and and you know split the first two, and this time kind of pushed them around after that first period. And honestly, the first period wasn't that bad. No, the first period aside was from just the one, one play, yeah. So I, I mean. The series at Minnesota, I felt Minnesota did outplay Michigan. 
You did think so? They hit four posts in the Friday game. Like It felt like a game where Michigan was lucky to be in it. Okay. And this felt different. And it felt different in sort of a similar way than the Ohio State game felt different in, in the semifinal. Yes. Because, I mean, I went on TK and I was like, I expect these guys to get trucked. <laughs> yeah. And I just. And I mean, they did the trucking. Yeah. And, and they dominated zone time. And the, this whole year, it's been Michigan is just shooting an insane percentage because they got a ton of talent. And because their, their approach is like, we're not just going to take random shots. We're going to take good shots. We're going to maintain possession. They're the opposite of Penn State. And so, like, you're in trouble if Michigan is shooting the same number of shots on goal as you are. That's bad for you. Yeah. Cause and Michigan just went up against two tourney teams and possibly the best team in the country, significantly outshot both of them. Yep. And you've got Nazar back. You've got the whole team except Truscott going. And it kind of feels like, all right. I mean, it's single well, elimination playoff hockey, so who knows? The thing is, is that if you have – if you put Truscott back in this lineup, who comes out? Uh, Holtz. Yeah. And then you put Pearson down in that spot, and he's right yeah. in a lot better situation. And then you start looking at that defensive core, and you're kind of like, mm, you know, yeah. Want. I mean, <laughs> if this team can ever play literally one game with all, with their, all players, their players, that would be nice. It would. Uh, well, you know, they've got a few coming up in a week, and maybe we'll see. I don't. I don't know. But yeah, so it's like you know, they're that's a nice play by Deer. They're playing well in the last couple of weeks. They got their guys back. And, you know, Alex has talked about depth scoring. And, you know, where did the goals come from? They came from McGroarty. They came from Dylan Duke. They came from Seamus Casey. Like, that's not Samuskevich. That's not Fantilli. And I'm not saying they didn't play roles in that. And it's not even been one of their hotter goal scorers in Brindley. I mean, they're getting they're getting the depth scoring. I mean, depth scoring from a guy in your first line is... Okay, but Casey and, and, yeah. and Duke as well, who's fallen sort of down the depth chart in terms of... He had a really hot first half. Hasn't done quite as much lately and had you know the biggest goal of the year probably yeah and you know the you know this is another game so this is like what five in a row where you know Portillo has been pretty good it's hard to find a lot of things he did really wrong on any of those goals and sure maybe there's a, a save you would have liked him to make where he made a rebound or a rebound happen no but there's like, there's the one rebound he gave up in the last couple minutes where Alex was like he's got to make that save which yeah. is correct yeah but that was like every other save in the Penn State series. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And now you're looking at this is what four games in a row, um, and even the Notre Dame series wasn't too bad. That you know if this is the Portillo they're getting going into the tournament, I don't yeah. hate it. I mean, like Alex is like, this is a nine forty guy last year, and if they get a nine forty goaltender, <laughs> if they get a nine forty the goaltender tournament, goal tournament uh, this ball game. You have to like their chances against anyone, especially get, considering what they just did to, you know, they outplayed the, the they just outplayed the number one team in the country. Yep, and like, I think it was closer than it sort of felt in the second period because of the chances Michigan did, did did give up were absolutely huge chances. Sure, but and they do, you know, and this was also a game that I think plays to Michigan's favor in the sense that it was not a penalty ridden game. I think there were three. I don't think we had a penalty in the, in the third Honest, period. That's that's actually a good point because what happens in playoffs is referees swallow their whistles. Well, what happened in the Denver game? Three penalties for Denver, zero for for Mich or three power plays for Denver, zero for for Michigan. I mean, that's that's a playoff whistle, right? And so Michigan benefits from a playoff whistle more than anyone else in the country, especially given what they've they dealt with in the Big penalties. Ten. Well, and, and like and like the the. the the, there wasn't even anything close to a potential five-minute major in this game. No, the only one we thought was the one that yeah. uh, against Minnesota. And it was probably fine. Yeah. It just kind of looked bad. But, yeah, there were a total of three penalties in this game. And, like... Yeah, I'm trying to remember them. Um, well, the one on... There was a Sam Escavich hold where that was the one Michigan drew. Yeah. There was the trip on Hughes where... Oh, Nines that one... Yeah, and that one was fair. Toasted him. And then what was the, and there was an interference penalty. Oh, on Hallam, zone. and when you said that was yeah. fine, right? Yeah, that yeah. was the yeah the pick play. The pick play. The so Justin Hall those were play. all like yeah, those were all good. And fine. then there was some stuff that they didn't call, but like. And I'm honestly okay with that, partially because one, it does benefit Michigan when there are fewer penalties. I think in general, right? But also, 
I don't think hockey overall benefits from having one team with six and power plays and another team with seven. Like you want to see skating. Well, I mean, but if the now. penalties are penalties, then you got to call them. Sure. Right? Like I kind of feel like people think it's in the refs' control sometimes when it's not. Well, there are ticky tack stuff that you can yeah. be like, you know what? Just play hockey, boys. Just play hockey. Just boys. play. Hockey. That should be a meme. <laughs> I'm a, trying. Do you mean a mem? A mem. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, this was our our third watch along. Right. I, I only said the word fuck twice. Well, <laughs> well, that's three, three times. We have a, so we we're have, still we we're still counter. we're still in PG thirteen land. I think you have a counter. <laughs> yeah, that was another one of his jobs. Oh, okay. It's like a swear bear. Did you guys ever swear? I think he said a swear once. I might have. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> you don't, Alex doesn't remember. So. Alex Black's out. We're going, <laughs> we're going to have to basically wait on the end of this NCHC championship game between Colorado College and St. Cloud State. Is that correct, Alex? Do you want to update us on well, the St. Cloud just went up 2 nothing. So they're looking good. And um, that, what does that mean? Tell us what that means. Well, that means that Michigan and Denver would be tied at 5-7-8-9 in RPI. And based on the pairwise comparisons, apparently Michigan wins that comparison. So they would be it's, third. It's a... Uh, this is the last game? This is the last game. Okay. And Denver will be fourth. Um, and so as a result, in theory, Michigan should then move to Allentown in the third number one seed. There is a situation that I did not realize until uh, a couple minutes ago. Um, right now, as it stands, Minnesota would play Canisius and Quinnipiac would play Colgate. That can't happen. Quinnipiac can't play Colgate. They're in the same conference. Oh, so, so we would the get committee. Colgate. The committee can either flip Canisius and Colgate, and they will not do that. Or it could Why? flip Colgate and Merrimack because the. Well, I mean, what what are their what are Canisius their Canisius is forty first, Colgate is twenty fifth. They're not going to do that. You don't think Merrimack so? is fourteenth? No. So it would be closer to flip Colgate and Merrimack than it would be to flip well, Colgate. Also, they do yes. prioritize giving the number one seed the, 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 the worst possible the team. The qualifier. So in that scenario, then Michigan might get Colgate. Which would be which would amazing. Be <laughs> the coup of the century. Um, and so then in that scenario, Merrimack would play Quinnipiac, and then Denver would get Cornell, and those would be the ones. And then if Michigan is in Allentown, then they would get St. Cloud. No, they get Penn State, right? Yes, Penn State, they get Penn Penn State. State jumps from eight to six to take that slot, and then they would be slotted in with Minnesota State at eleven. <laughs> so we're back to Minnesota. So Penn State. State plays Minnesota State, and then Minnesota State is a much more uh, palatable, palatable three, th- like a uh, second round game. I think. Would Your you? odds of winning the region if you get Colgate over Merrimack changes such a large amount yeah. that the two three is irrelevant. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yep. Like if you look so at they're prob- showing like the it, pairwise up here now. Yep. So right now, their Denver's and Michigan is separated by point oh 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 one, and then when <laughs> the St. Cloud game goes final, they tie, and the Michigan jumps Denver. I wonder what that comes. I don't is. think it's actually a tie. I think it's just so close that they don't show it, because <laughs> there'd be nothing else that would break that tie, right? Because they didn't – Like the numbers just keep going out? They I, didn't play Denver. No. Do they have any – I mean, is it common opponents? Is that what it is? You can just click on the uh, individual comparison. <sighs> 24, 11, and 3. Just like – just take the, take the interim tag off. Come on, guys. I mean, that's – Recruited five, three five stars with an interim tag. Well, and this team is like gotten better. Huh. Like throughout the throughout the throughout the year, the team has gotten better. I mean, there's been there have been there hiccups. Have been, there have been ups and downs, but yeah, they've. But I mean, pro- they've progressed. They weren't. The they weren't at were. this pace at at New Year's after the Michigan State series. No. And. Yeah. So I asked him about about Murado and he said, quote, I love him, we're going through the process. So Alejandro has just related that he uh, Ward says, I love him in reference to Dorado, we're going through the process. He doesn't love Alejandro? Oh. Unclear if he did not 
Okay. Unclear about <laughs> Ward Manuel's opinion towards <laughs> Alejandro. Here we go. If St. Cloud wins, the the RPI, Michigan five seven eight nine zero seven, Denver five seven eight nine zero five. Wow. And they're just and they're just well done, Wisconsin. <laughs> Is that <laughs> you, you beat some teams in the non-conference, and that's the difference. And you know who they beat? Duluth. 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 <laughs> Twice at Duluth. Good stuff, Granado. Yeah. <laughs> one for the road. Yeah, just take <laughs> taking one for the team, I guess. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Well, Michigan has won the Big Ten Hockey Championship. I hope you guys enjoyed my occasional fist bumps. <laughs> You uh, got excited. Yeah, it's it's you know, I, I just try to keep it even keel. Yeah. Because the alternative is madness. Well, Alex and I are all over the place and you're the one that's just like, guys, I gotta drive this ship. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, let's end on that. Back to back.